One of the most intimidating. Hey, what do you mean, Fonzie?
A A A O A O. Hello. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am not ready. <laughs> But shall we get started? Let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Hey. <sighs> How are you? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Zach, Zach got Riz. Wow. Okay, they welcome home. Thanks so much for following. Thanks so much for the follow. Hello. Hi. All right. Greetings first. Class, welcome. Okay, they welcome home. Set two. <laughs> Okay, we welcome home, Fonzie. I am here. You had skimming? Oh, that's nice. Azzy, thank you so much for redeeming the first. Okay, they welcome home. Congratulations on redeeming the first within 11 minutes and 10 seconds. Wow. Zach, okay, they welcome home. How are you? Oh, my glasses are falling. Mm -mm -mm. I'm wearing glasses today. Yeah, can you, can you see it? I was trying out a different one, but then... It was falling off my face. I mean, no, it's not that it's falling off my face, but it's more like it's not visible when I used the other one. The one that I was looking for. He just got home? Oh my gosh, how did I know that? Hmm. <laughs> I'll just have to figure out why. I'll show you like the other, the other glass. Like it was this one. And then, uh, because it's golden, it's not. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> it doesn't. Wait, maybe we can try this. Let's remove the other one. And then remove sec. Eto. Doko? Doko? Okay. Oops, oops. I became small. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's wear it like that. All right. I think. All right. Yeah. First time to wear glasses here. I'm awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I am so big. Why? <laughs> yeah, there. <laughs> Ren, okay, welcome home. How are you doing? You know when when you use the uh, that emote, I, I always like. Am I creepy? Why would you look at me like that? I, I wouldn't harm you, you know? How are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Um, happy Easter. Happy Easter Sunday. How was your... Um, if you're celebrating Holy Week or or just... Ha if you had a long vacation. It is you that is creepy. Oh, wish for peace. Hi. Okay, we welcome home. How are you doing? It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, so how was your Easter break, guys? Did you have a good vacation? I, I don't know if you, you went on a vacation or, or something. Let, let, me, let me adjust this poster. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, for, as for me, I'll just, I'm just quiet. I, I'm just at home. Wow, you have a big bowl of vanilla ice cream? And you're stuffing your face with it? <gasps> Give me ice cream. Send me send me that ice cream. I don't care if it will melt <laughs> once it gets here. <laughs> no Easter break only work. It's exhausting. Oh no, Zach. That's so sad. I hope you can get some break. It's especially today, it's Sunday. Is it Sunday in your place, Zach? Yeah, pain relief is ice cream you gotta break that's good that's great that's good so what are we doing today so today <laughs> what 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 you gotta break but it's on your bone oh, oh no ma'am <laughs> that's just so sad yeah exactly ren add some cookie with that vanilla we actually have a, a like a chunky uh chips ahoy 
in our fridge right now. And then at the side of the packaging, um, they have a bowl of vanilla ice cream with with the chocolate chip cookie on the side. And then it's like that. It's like it's telling you you should have ice cream with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For today, I am so nervous for today. <laughs> To be honest, wait, you broke some Graham crackers and so, oh my gosh, Graham and then mangoes. It's ha- exactly, it was for peace. It sounds very nice. Yo, san, okay, welcome home. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Cute glasses, thank you. I changed it to something sakura themed. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, thank you. Hi, as a fellow bone broken. Oh my, yeah. I I hope your broken bone gets healed. Okay, bef- before we start, let me let me share a story. So back in the day, when I was a young boy, no. <laughs> when I was a young boy, no. I mean, when I was young, when I was younger, like in probably what grade was I back then? I'm not sure, fourth or third grade or something. Only back to num numbing, you be the kid in class who sits at the back corner by the window. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, nobody should know that I, if I were a boy, no, I, I am full fledged lady. I am full fledged lady. What do you mean? The stream streamers are girls, and then all chat are boys. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Yes, even even Ren and Setsu are boys. <laughs> and then when I'm in chat, I am a boy. <laughs> no. Okay, going back, go, go, going back, going back. <laughs> Where was I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was younger, like, yeah, around third or fourth or fifth grade, I was in my, we were in my cousin's house. Like, um, we were just playing. What is GGWP? <laughs> what is that? Explain, explain memes. <laughs> good God, women, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, good go, good game, well played. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Shagbrag, okay, they welcome home. Yeah, 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 GG. Good game, well played. What is memes? What are memes? I don't know. Walla, <laughs> where was I? You only know meme? <laughs> Mimi? Meme. No, let me get back to my story. This is this is about broken bones. So yeah, um, we were at our. It was around noontime. We were at my cousin's house, and then, what? What? You're writing a complaint email ag- a- a- again to Twitch or something? Was that it? <gasps> Why? <laughs> Max frustration. Good. Women, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was I? Yeah, it was noon time. We were playing. Um, my me, my brother, and my younger cousin were playing to to your Ministry of Transportation. Is it for the train? Uh, no, no, the parking areas in the train station. Okay, going back. So, so, so. We were playing pick up sticks. I don't know if you know pick up sticks. It's a game where you pick up sticks. <laughs> we were playing pick up sticks on the side, on one side of the room, and then my older cousin, um, and then the other two, uh, and then my the middle child in the cousin family, like their tree, the middle child that's around the same age as me, who celebrated her birthday the other day. And the and our cousin uh, and their cousin who's not my cousin, so like the cousin's cousin, but not my cousin. <laughs> you, you still have a plastic set of sticks. <gasps> we should play, Ren. When when we meet again, we should play pick up sticks. 
It's a very complicated game. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> basically, <laughs> you're confused. Basically, basically, there are six of us in the room. Let's just say that there are six of us in the room. I was playing pick up sticks with my brother and my younger cousin. Stick? What? 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 what stick? Your son. And then my other three. Let's let's just say the the cousin of the cousin is also. Uh, let's just call them cousin. Cousin two. Okay. 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 So 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 there are the other three. Are playing on the bed like they are trying to flip around because there's this um, segment in the noontime show, like in the longest noontime show here, where they it was a dance battle. And I don't know if you know the song, like work it, let me work it, dun, 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 but it was by Missy Elliott. So they had this ba- dance, dance segment, dance showdown segment on that show, and then. My other cousins, like the, the three, the three girls who were playing on the bed, were trying to imitate like they're doing flips on on the bed, etc. and so on. And then, um, my my auntie was taking a bath back then, so there were no we had no gardens. Okay, so so we we were innocently playing. They were um trying out some tricks that they are seeing on 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 the TV. And you know what happens. Uh, you know what happens next. Like my eldest cousin, um, flips on the bed. The next moment, her was it her elbow got twisted. <sighs> just just recalling it. <sighs> ah, so painful. I, I I still I don't know. It's one one of my core memories. That's why whenever someone tells me a story of like a certain uh, uh, disaster or something, I always cringe. Like me, why, why? Yeah. So, but but right now she's fine. But she cannot do like tricks anymore. Or, like she cannot do uh, tumble anymore or anything anything. So so as not to. It's not exactly like she had a broken bone. She, when you're younger, things heal faster. Yeah, but she was probably a, yeah 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 yeah. Well, but technically she's she's younger back then. But still, yeah, it's something that I cannot forget. Like <gasps> the sight of seeing her in pain was just <sighs> oh my gosh. It was a disaster, but then now, now she's fine, and and I am the godmother of her daughter, <laughs> of my cute niece. Yeah, that, that that doesn't recognize me much and doesn't like me much. So, okay, going back, <laughs> we had that tangent, but shall we go to our main topic for today? Today we are going to be doing some some lesson. <laughs> <laughs> like we're gonna be I'm I'm gonna be trying to teach you <laughs> I'm not gonna be trying to teach you Japanese but then but then I will <laughs> most of your left side is either cracked or broken what the heck Fonzie why what were you doing why uh, uh, is it mostly healed Frankie you, you, you I, I am noting down that you are late. <laughs> just, just kidding. Don't worry. Welcome home, Kairi. Okay, Kairi. Okay, Hi. Younger days, you do dumb things. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, today, I am gonna be showing you, <laughs> like, what what I offer. Um, as you can see on the side of the screen, we have learning Japanese with Ayun Esan. You still haven't broken any bone yet, despite what. You've been involved in a lot of accidents. What what were you doing, Azzy? Why? Adult days, you still do dumb things. <laughs> young, dumb, young, dumb, and broke. Is that how the song goes? I'm not sure. What? 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 <laughs> Cycling. Cycling? 
got crashed by what? He got crashed by bicycle, cars, bike, and other what? Azzy, why are you attracting disasters? I'm 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 glad you're still alive. <laughs> what are you attracting? <laughs> <laughs> Magnet for <Mer> me. <laughs> Broyly. Okay, Lee, welcome home. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? How should I call you? Broyly? 1987? <laughs> let, me, let me know in the chat. Ohayo, ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo? It's morning on your end. Ohayo gozaimasu. Irashaimasu. You have time after finishing exam on 25th of April, so you will decide to buy course or not. <gasps> okay. All right. No problem. So yeah, where were we? Hi. So today we're going to be... Konbanwa. Hi. Koho de yoru desu ne. Um, here it's it's at, uh, at night. It's already 9.21 p.m. As you can see on, on this uh, lower right side of the screen it's april 9 it's actually like double holiday here but it's sunday so like me it's easter sunday plus we have the day of valor oh we the same time ah so this ka hi hi you don't know if you have major skill what major skill issue with 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 the driving with with all the accidents or something but i'm just glad i, I mean can you walk properly as he Soha, soha, hi. Are you? Can you? Can you do? Are, uh, uh, do you have any fatal injury that uh, made you handicapped or something? If if I'm glad if there's no no major injury or anything. Are you in a bike or a car when you were in an accident? Yeah, were you? Okay, where were we? No fatal injury. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Bachi, bachi. Thank you. Thank God. Thank Lord. Okay. Where are we? So, 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 so. Not for other... Ma'am. Ma'am. It's scary. If you type... Okay, okay. Let, let me get back to my... <laughs> you are the reason. Ganbare Ayusan, arigato. Hi. Big question. Nani? You're the. Oh, you mean big question? Shagbrek has a big question. Like, you're the cause. You got collect. Head on. What, what is your head made of? Metal? What? <laughs> They're skill issue for sure. They crash into you and they got injured. <laughs> and that <laughs> are you driving a tank? <laughs> are you a tank? Today we confirm that Azzy, the Canadian Azzy <laughs> is is not it's not a girl, it's not a boy, it's not a male or a female. Azzy is basically a robot, a, a metal, a, an invincible, an invincible being. You can drive- what? You can drive a dinosaur, Broily? What? What? Yeah, which dinosaur? Barney? Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. You're not a tank, but thank lots for- <laughs> T-Rex. Man. Barney is banned. What? Seriously? Why Why is Barney banned in Malaysia? What What did Barney do to Malaysia? Just because Barney is a purple dinosaur. <laughs> why? <laughs> you like Godzilla. <gasps> what? Okay. Hey Fonzie, what are your T-Rex jokes? Get on with it. What? There was a sexual episode? <gasps> what? I I I I I I I didn't know about that. 
Are they are they should have just banned that episode then. Why ban the whole thing? Barney too much purple for Malaysia. And he doesn't say for children. Oh no. <laughs> Why are you asking, Yosan? Are you gonna be <laughs> looking for it? <laughs> You're gonna do your research. <sighs> Barnyard. <laughs> it's such a dumb series, and they managed to stuff those kind of things in there. Well. <laughs> Good news. Now that you rarely go outside now, you don't have to worry get worried for yourself. You're more worried about other people. Okay. <clears throat> what do you call a group of dino who sings? <laughs> Man. <sighs> Man, Fonzie. Tyrannochorus. <laughs> Eat well, Shagbrag. Food just magically appeared there. Tom and Jerry show. Tom and Jerry kids. Da -na 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 Tom and Jerry kids. Okay, where were we? <sighs> they ran the chorus. They ran the chorus. Yeah. Okay. So if you type teach me on chat, we actually. You will actually be led to a tweet of mine that um, shows you more details about the classes I am offering. So basically, uh, if you're interested to learn, thank you, Ren. Can you pin it? Thank you. Um, if you're interested to take up or study, study, <laughs> study basic Japanese, um, feel free to check out my tweet and then... Um, contact me on on twitter or discord dm yeah or you can check out my website at iu-vt.card.com <laughs> what doraemon is a dinosaur alien what where is coleman don't look for him it's it's the holidays <laughs> let him rest <laughs> it's it's now ren's time to do her job <laughs> yeah uh, Dino uh, I, dinosaur. I mean, I mean, <laughs> mm, uh, what? Uh, uh, Doraemon is is an alien cat. <laughs> is a robot cat? 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 <laughs> what am I saying, ma'am? You're still you're still struggling with ice cream. Don't worry. No, I understand. I understand. Just, just. Gambate. <laughs> Hi, so shall we start? And then we, I, I'm gonna be sharing more details about the lessons later after the class. But today, class, let's let's um, move over to our lecture for today, which is about uh, like basic, basic Japanese stuff. It's just the beginner stuff like the very very first this is the very very first lesson that i offer for for everyone who would be interested to take you know why t-rex can't wipe there <laughs> <laughs> like, they can just rub it somewhere in the grass somewhere probably we don't know yeah go go eat more ice cream ren you know doraemon she uh, he has big pouch on his tummy yeah exactly royally yes we have short hands <laughs> it's a pint wow pint pint ma'am all right let's move here hi we have Amtaro. <laughs> i've been using this slide for the longest time ever since when i started um offering classes back in 2020 so so for those of you who don't know i've i have been teaching basic japanese like just one-on-one -on -one tutoring um ever since around late 2020 that was october so what happened was uh a colleague of mine like a previous workmate of mine had a brother and then she asked me oh can you teach my brother um basic japanese and korean <laughs> basic Japanese and Korean like okay I guess yeah so 
but after that, uh, um, the following year, no, I, I think it was last year, I was able to get um, other students as well. Hi. And Korean. But then, like, I struggled with teaching Korean because it's not like, it's not like I'm very good with Korean. So I just used uh, a very, uh, some materials that I found online and then I tried my best to like teach it using those materials but I am not very confident with Korean as compared to Japanese so so I am not offering Korean anymore unless 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 you need me or want me to to do that but yeah so very first lesson is of course learning about the Japanese language and the alphabet Japanese alphabet we have the hiragana katakana kanji hi so basically today let's let's have a brief study of the Japanese language history okay all right are you ready class are you ready <laughs> ma'am <laughs> okay let's do this so <clears throat> cringe what are you cringing at <sighs> What are you cringing at, ma'am? Ma'am. Don't, don't cringe. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> hmm? Okay. Ay ay, Captain. Captain Ayu. Ay ay. Ay ay ay. Okay, so. History of the Japanese language. Did you know? The Japanese is the ninth most spoken language in the world. <laughs> um, well, as of my the time that I did this research, um, there are around 128 million speakers worldwide. Yeah, around 2020 times. But now I haven't updated this to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, so well, it's not just because. Um, of the population but then you have to consider other speakers that are not Japanese or those who are living outside of Japan who also speak who also speak Japanese Let, let's not forget those who studied Japanese because because you know it's it's the language of in anime and manga and stuff like that you thought silent language was most used by strangers to others <laughs> Maybe. Really? 125 million in Japanese population. No. Okay, so yeah, consider those. Okay, there. If there are 125 million um, people in Japan, there are probably three million other speakers worldwide. So you have to consider those who Japanese communities living. Yeah, Japanese communities living in other countries like Brazil, like in in Japanese uh, cha like. Uh, little Tokyo's outside of Japan, so Hawaii. There are like a no number of Japanese people living in Brazil, Hawaii, and other parts of the world. So you have to count them, right? So probably, and then the other the other speakers who who aren't uh, who are not like it's not their main language, but then probably their second or third language, you know. So still. It's the ninth most spoken language in the world, according to I forgot wherever I found this. <laughs> Imagine taking a class on me and then I'm just uh, saying it like this. Main re reason why ninth most spoken is because of the population. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> okay, so, um,. It's part of the Japonic language family. The other, the other member of the Jap Japonic language family is the Ukyuan. The Ukyuan is the ancient language that was used in Okinawa, and then, um, but it's I believe it's not as actively used right now uh, as compared to, of course, Japanese. Yeah. So if you know like language families, for example, we have Aust. Draw. What, what I forgot where Filipino belongs to, like something 
not Austronesian, but something like that, right? Or, or Malay, Indo, something. <laughs> Probably something like that. Ren, help. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, anyway, anyhow. So around the fourth to sixth century. What century are we in right now? What what do I mean? What do you mean? The la- 21st century. There, thank you. <laughs> Not good with centuries. Like, okay, so around the 4th to 6th century, um, Japan was introduced to Chinese language. Yeah. You're the head empty part of. <laughs> Don't worry. It's fine. Okay, so they were introduced to Chinese language and then it began with. Kanbun and Mariogana, so that was for the traditional, uh, as you can see here in, in, in the chart, like on the right side, those were uh, kan, uh, the Mariogana. And then the, this is where, so when, when they wrote it shorthand, that is where they derived Hiragana and Katakana eventually. Century eggs, what? Do you eat century eggs? I believe like I've only tried century eggs like around once or twice or something probably you read medical textbook while re listening to the string ma'am you're studying a lot good luck <laughs> yeah so most of um what they did was um s some of those they derived the sound of the characters and then oh this sounds like um what we uh, like our our what we say like the a a i u e o etc and so on and then they use the chinese characters to as as like homophones or something or like they used the sound of those and then simplified it eventually mostly the court ladies oh, yeah chinese for the win eventually eventually i'll i'll, I'll study it Eventually, well, you're gonna teach me, right? Chat will teach me. Ayu yo, ayu yo, ayu yo. Hi. Eventually, I, I will. I will. We will. We will study it. But for now, let's focus on Japanese. Okay. Let me pass. Uh, you thought a nice that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I am. I am the lecturer today, right? Right. I, I, I even have my, my teacher glasses on right, right now for you guys. What do you mean? All right, that's it with the history. That's just a brief preview of the history. Any questions about the history? <laughs> I mean, I, it's just more like, where is my certificate? The most bedad. Bedazzled teacher's glasses in, in existence. Imagine wearing something like that. Should I, like, in my IRL glasses, should I put like beads like that? Ma'am, where is my certificate? Like, which certificate are you looking for? My teaching certificate? I have, I actually have, like, uh, an, was it an ESL certificate? TESOL? I think TESOL. If you know TESOL, it's like teaching English as a secondary language or something. Something. So I have I have that certificate, to be honest. Of course, I cannot show you. <laughs> you tried that, but the super glue melted portion. Oh no, ma'am. What do you mean burnt kettle certificate? I don't need a certificate for that. I am already cert. Uh, uh, I am already. <laughs> I can, I can make one. Do you, do you wanna... <laughs> do you wanna undergo the program to, to learn how to burn kettle? <laughs> okay, moving on. So let's move with the Japanese writing system. So we have um, three writing systems in Japanese. Certified by, her, by herself, yes, exactly. The one and only. So we have, of course, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. So usually you would see all characters in one sentence, and most of the time there are no spaces. 
in Japanese. So, for example, we have Telebi o mimasu. Like this sentence here. Okay, you, can, you, can, you can see my mouse, right? <laughs> what? Three, what? What do you mean three times? <laughs> oh, because... <laughs> Because they they chose to like have three writing systems. Let them be, ma'am. Tell the view. I I think I think for me I think having the three is very useful. Tell the Tell the view. She must. Tell the Oh, me must. Tell the Television. Oh is a particle, and then me here is uh like the kanji. To watch, to see, me must, to see, to watch. Yeah. So I watch television. Did I be me must? And then there are no. Yeah. Hi, hi. Did I be me must? There are no space. Usually they, they don't use any spaces. So we will watch a, a video later to explain more of that. Let's read the text. Like, hiragana and katakana, like the alphabet, represent sounds or mora. 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 We call it mora. As you can see above, in the above example, Hiragana has a rounded shape, like very curly, <laughs> and is used for conjugation endings, function words, and native Japanese words not covered by kanji. Space is just for beginner to understand better exactly. Yeah. Katakana, which has rather straight lines, is normally used. Is norm? Sorry, I thought someone was, um, um like beeping. Okay. Katakana, which has rather straight lines or very, very stiff lines, is normally used for writing loan words and foreign names. So loan words, we have like those were, w which were borrowed from other countries, mostly English. Like for example, we have television. They shorted into Telebi. <laughs> Telebi! 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, last one. We have kanji or Chinese characters, um, which represent level sounds the least. <laughs> no, not Teletubbies. Okay, where was I? Uh huh. Okay, Chinese characters represent not just sounds but also meanings. Mostly, kanji are used for nouns and the stems of verbs and adjectives. What is the song in Teletubbies? Actually. Okay, um, let us watch the video here. Uh, can, can, I, can I? Yes, I can. Okay, let me see. Let, let, let us, can I full screen this? Oh, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Teletubbies is actually a very dark show. How? Copyright? Because of the copyright? Really? I didn't know that. I just know the baby son. Imagine... Trying to concentrate, but she laughs every. <laughs> no, I, I won't do it in class. Of course, it, we're more serious in class. This is a stream, and and um, and I also get entertained by chat. Very very good. The context is very dark. Really, I I, I have no idea. I didn't know that. Yeah, this is a rehearsal. Uh, this is a preview, but of course. Um, in the classes, like once, once, uh, uh, if, if you take my classes, it's most not formal, but then it's like we're just hanging out and, and I'm guiding you throughout the material. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. All right, then let's play this video. Let me see. I hope, I hope you can hear the audio. Okay, let's see. Let me pause Japanese the music. Japanese writing is infamous for its difficulty, and in fact, Japanese probably does have the most complex writing system in use today. One of the reasons for this is the fact that Japanese uses not only one, but three different scripts in combination with each other, and this interaction is exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. Another difficulty that's staring us in the face right now that I might as well point out is that Japanese writing does not use spaces. And to a Westerner, this might seem like the dumbest thing ever, but in fact, because the system works the way it does, it's not actually that much of a problem, as I hope you'll soon realize. Alright, let's start with the different scripts. As I said, there are three of them. Hiragana, Katakana, 
Think Westerner is dumb. <laughs> what? These scripts are mixed and used together, and with the exception of children's books, Japanese never uses only one of them. But this isn't at all as confusing as you might think it'd be, for two reasons. First of all, every script has a specific use, meaning that just by seeing the script, you can tell something about what it's going to say. Second of all, each script has a very distinct appearance, meaning that it's quite easy to identify the various scripts in a text using all of them. To further illustrate, let's look at a random selection of characters Hiragana, each script. Iguana, what we need to declare from looking at them is that Hiragana and Katakana characters are simpler, while Kanji can you, characters can you hear are a lot it? more complex. Let me, let me put it. Also note how the Hiragana have a much there, smoother there, there. look it's, than it's Katakana, loud. where the lines and edges are instead quite sharp. Generally, Hiragana and Katakana characters consist of between one and three strokes only, while Kanji characters generally have between two and twenty strokes, or which no makes for a much more home. solid look. This goes hand in hand with how the scripts function and how their characters are pronounced. Both Hiragana and Katakana are syllabaries, meaning that Slabbies. every character represents a possible syllable, or more technically, a mora, as in the example chi, n, hu, ha, ta, and yu. And since Japanese only has a small number of permitted syllables, that makes the number of kana characters small. And in fact, there are only around 45 characters each in the two kana scripts, generally corresponding one to one with each other as well, just as they do in this example. With kanji, things are different. Kanji do not represent specific sounds or syllables, but instead represent entire morphemes. A bit simplified, that means that kanji represent either word stems or entire words altogether. This also means that their number does not have a theoretical upper limit, although in practice, only about 3,000 characters are in common use in Japan today. Ken to kanji. The kanji shown here are generally pronounced <laughs> Yama, Tsuki, Hon, Tamago, Neko, and yes, Midori. But they can also assume other pronunciations in different contexts. So, when are the different scripts actually used? Kanji. Kanji are typically used for more content-heavy <laughs> words, such as nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Examples of kanji nouns are... Like iru, the most common neko, that is used. Mizu, Nihon, and kaibutsu. kaibutsu. As for non-nouns, these are actually combined with hiragana, where the kanji represents the stem and the kana the ending. For example, we have the verbs miru, miru. and Kaeru, and the adjectives akai and kowai. In these cases, the verb ending ru and the adjective ending i are written with hiragana, while the main part of the word is Who represented is bad, by the kanji. Hiragana are used for particles, postpositions, adverbs, auxiliary verbs, and other various function words, such as wa, sore, kara, and shikashi. Yeah, more they can also be used as replacements sense. for kanji when context or style calls for it, and Kawaii. several words can in fact be written either with kanji or with hiragana. Finally, as I explained a moment ago, hiragana are also used for verbal, adjectival, Kawaii. and adverbial Kawaii. endings, usually in combination with kanji. Finally, katakana are used katakana. for foreign words and modern loan words, such as aisu, aisu. Ko, spoon, and Europa. They're also used Europa. for technical and scientific terms, as well as for many animals and plants, even if most of the latter technically do have kanji. For example, yeah. Ichigo and Same. Katakana is also used for onomatopoeia, such as Chukepika, pika pika, which is a sparkling sound, and Chu Chu, which is the sound <laughs> of a mouse. Pika. Finally, katakana yes. can be used Ichigo to express emotion, Jen. surprise, slang, or other kinds of colloquial utterances. For example, words like dame, muda, and keitai are frequently written in katakana. Keita, this kind of usage demo. can at times be somewhat similar to how italics can be the berry. used in Western languages. <laughs> Frequency-wise, and perhaps unsurprisingly, kanji Pika. and hiragana are overwhelmingly more common than katakana in actual Japanese text. In a 2000 study of an entire year's publication of a major Japanese newspaper, researchers concluded that kanji made up 41% of all printable characters in the corpus, hiragana Man, 37%, 41%. and katakana only 6%. What's more, they could also show the following frequencies for kanji usage. 
What this means is that already the 500 most common kanji make up 81% of all kanji in the entire text corpus. The 1,000 most common <sighs> make up 95%, and with the 3,000 most common studying, kanji, you pretty much covered uh, everything. Kanji. And while 3,000 might yeah. sound like a lot at first glance, so it's annoying. actually not that bad, considering the 45,000 or so kanji that might make up the remaining 0.03%. <laughs> in fact, this is great news for the learner, because with only a couple of hundred kanji, you'll be able to recognize more than half of the characters in a normal Japanese text. <sighs> Is also, it the same in Chinese? tend to be content heavy. In it's no Chinese. surprise that they're common in newspapers and more formal texts. But <laughs> this also means whatever. that in more informal like, how texts, many do you the amount of kanji learn? will go down, and more <laughs> of the content will be expressed through kana, which is also good news for the learner. How many is the common? So, how does it all look in practice? <laughs> Let's have a look at some Too sentences, many. shall yeah, we? Yeah, exactly. Neko wa aoi wo this sentence means, the cat is watching the blue fish. And here we see a prime example of the distribution of kanji in hiragana. There are four kanji in the sentence, representing the content words cat, blue, fish, and the stem part of watching. The hiragana, in turn, represents the topic and object particles, the verbal ending, as well as the final auxiliary verb. To illustrate this further, let's see what it would look like if English had used such a system. Here we have the sentence, the cat is watching the blue fish, where we use Latin letters instead of hiragana. Chinese Note how the kanji represents the main content here. Word, if we ignore them, syllabus. we wouldn't get much information at all. Like the, the pronunciation? something is you something mean? in the something something what do you mean? doesn't really help us. On the other hand, if we turn it around and say, Japan cat English. watch blue <laughs> fish, we do get our message across, ungrammatical as it may be. And this relation to content is actually not okay, too shabby as a rule of well, thumb for really. how kanji and hiragana are See normally later. used. Let's look at another example, yeah. where we can also include some katakana. Here are the words Smith and Hawaii, both foreign names, are written with katakana. Ah, I see, I see, I see. As for the rest, the words meaning me, car, and by are written with kanji, while the particles, verbal endings, and the auxiliary verb kudasaru are written with hiragana. If we make it English, it could look something like this, ignoring the fact that these particular names wouldn't okay, be for in the case. This is a good illustration of how the three writing systems can go so early. Each other. They <laughs> all have their the own height. specific function, meaning that you get different information from each. And also that you know what to expect when you see them. I mean, them. you wouldn't really know. In this know example, we know that the capital them. letters are going to show us a specific name. We know that the kanji are the main content words, and we know that the lowercase letters will give us the grammatical context. It's actually pretty neat when you think about it. This setup, combined with a visual mix, is also one main reason that Japanese does quite well without spaces. Let's see what we get if we remove them. And to be fair, let's remove the colors too. As you can see, it's not really that much of a difference, and definitely something you could get used to. A proficient Japanese Master, reader has no less trouble quickly home. identifying and distinguishing kanji in the two sets How of kana than an English oh, speaker has separating lower and uppercase letters. Happy Easter. For our next example, let's start in the other end. Here's the sentence, If you think we're having pizza tonight, you're wrong, written with a Latin transliteration. Kanji. Now we'll yeah. change it into the correct Japanese writing, one step at a time. First of all, we can identify three particles, the objective o, the complementizer to, and the assertive yo. These are all always written with hiragana. We also have hey, the good, word that's da, good. and although it might look like a particle too, it's actually an auxiliary verb. Although writing-wise, it's of less importance, since this too is written with hiragana. Okay, so next we have an adverb, konya meaning tonight. tonight. Adverbs tonight. are tricky because they tend to be less straightforward than other word classes. Some adverbs are written with kanji, some with hiragana, mm -hmm. and some can be written with either of the two. Mm -hmm. As for this word, it's written with kanji, and so that's what we'll use here too. So now we're left with two nouns and two verbs. Nouns are generally quite simple in this regard since they tend to use kanji, and this is also the case for kanchigai even though this particular word also has a hiragana character representing the final vowel. Pizza feels is an exception to hard. this, you just know some as a quite apparent loan word, it'll little. instead be written with well, just like a preview. As for the it's verbs, like, you'll recall how well, we tend well, to mix kanji we'll and hiragana, gradually get using there. the former for the stems and the latter for the endings. Following this, we'll use kanji for the stems, or in the case of taberu, the first part of the stem, 
and then hiragana for the endings. And so we end up with the entire sentence written correctly in Japanese. Japanese writing is indeed complicated, but it is quite systematic, and getting the hang of how it works is actually not、record. that hard at all. As for learning all the various kanji, however, that's a different matter entirely, but unfortunately out of the scope of this video. As for me, I hope that you've gained new insights and that you've enjoyed the presentation. Remember to keep following this channel for more videos about Japanese and other languages. Arigato, and thank you for watching. Yep, so that's that. We. Okay, let's, let's bring back the. Where was I? Yeah, this one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That was too wordy. That was too. too many. Ma'am. Do you have any questions? I believe I have many questions as well. <laughs> That was good, except for kanji. Lol. <laughs> it looked like a curse when, when you saw, like, it's all in red, ma'am. Like, all the kanji that are there. Kanji. Kanji. Like, wait, 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 sorry. Let me go back to the slideshow. Title screen in horror movies. It's not just sometimes the words so complicated that you can't even see the word exactly. Cancelous G, ma'am. What? Alright. Let's move on. So, so now we have an understanding of why, why there is hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Why they coexist and what their purposes are, basically. I hope, I hope that a video gave you some insight. Let's move on. So, we have, of course, the hiragana. There are 46 characters. And this is disregarding the ice cream gone. Okay. Gonna wash dishes. All right, Ren. Okay. Going back, 46 characters.、Um, and then you get more characters when you, when you add,、um, like later, I'll explain. Okay? But here's our basic characters we have, like the A line, A I U E O. The order is A I U E O. It always, it always sounds like that, right? Like letter A doesn't have different pronunciations. It's always A, it's always E, it's always. Ooh, it's always e, it's always o, a, i, u, e, o. And then we have in order we have a, ka, sa, ta, na, ha, ma, ya, ra, wa, n. There's even a song <laughs> that, that, like, wh wh which you can use to remember, like, the, the, the characters. It's, it's cute and it's for kids, but I didn't add it here anymore. Yeah, but it is a chart that looks like a, it's, it's a struggle. Yeah, it's like ABC. You have a table like this? That you never knew before? What do you mean? Yeah.、Uh, so if you are not familiar with like hiragana and katakana and, ha, and、um, it's hard for you to recognize what is the character for this, it's kind of. This is a good table, yep.、Um, it's kind of hard to memorize, to be honest. But it comes with practice and getting、uh, and familiarizing yourself. So,、um, for example, if you're a complete beginner, plastic placement. Ah! <sighs> yeah. So, if you're a complete beginner, and、um, of course, it's a sen. For me,、uh, if you take my classes, I believe it's essential to. To know the characters, like,、uh, like especially hiragana, hiragana and katakana, like very basic at the very first.、Um, we, do, we will do practices where we learn each character and try to remember them, and then exercises and, and, and so forth. Okay? And then, so we have hiragana, and then after that, we also have katakana. Yeah, so the equivalent. And, For, to be honest, for me, I hate katakana more than kanji. <laughs> Because, like, look at this, look at katakana. It looks so confusing. And, and a lot,、uh, there are lots of similar things in katakana. So, for example, you look at wa and u, or like, or fu, they look the same. 
Yeah, they kind of look almost the same. That's why it's annoying. Or or you look at Tsu and Shi here. They they looked very much the same. They have just different directions on how you write them. Or sometimes sometimes I confuse Sa with with like Hiragana Se or something. Howdy Kingu! Okay, they welcome home. Katakana is lol, especially the dash. <laughs> And then we have un and so they also look the same so you have to be careful when writing that you mean things ah uh, in kanji i i see i see like my teammate uh, hi 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 no issue for you ma'am <laughs> yeah but i mean of course that's the advantage of like being chinese but then uh, your struggle is with uh, what is the pronunciation that's your, that you're gonna use, right? Is it have a test like JLPT? What do you mean? Um, is there a JLPT in my country? Of course, there's JLPT offered here. Um, I passed N4 back in 2016. I I was originally planning to take N3 last December, but I got COVID back then, so I wasn't able to take one. Yeah, JLPT is everywhere. You just have to check like which city offers. Um, JLPT over in your country. Here in the Philippines, we have three sites, so we, uh, one in every like main island, so like I mean main part of the Philippines because we have Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. There's one in Manila, which is in in Luzon. There's one in Cebu, which is in Visayas, and then there's one in Davao for Mindanao area. So yeah, we have that, and it's always the same day for uh, everywhere in, in in the world so it's always uh like one sunday in july and another sunday in december usually it's the first sunday is the test like ielts i'm not sure how ielts is done i believe in ielts there's there's no okay in ielts there's talking right but in JLPT, there's no talking, so it's just um, listening. No, 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 even no writing. Even it's mostly listening and reading. That's why others pass, even though they're not very good conversationally. <laughs> what do you mean MCQ? When I see MCQ, I, I remember quarantine. Alright. Okay. You thought? Oh, multiple choice questions. Yes. It's all multiple choice. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> because MCQ when, when when the pandemic happened here and then they had like um quarantines imposed. Um MCQ meant um mod was it moderate community quarantine, I think? Something like that, like, what, what's the heck with those levels of quarantine? That was MCO in your country? Oh, I see. But yeah, so, yeah, it's all multiple choice. In, and then there are different parts, so we have, like, the... Uh, like the vocab part and then the reading section and then the listening section and it depends on what level you're taking some of them will be combined or and some will have three parts movement control operation Ooh, i see okay all right so let's move on so apart from 46 each in in hiragana and katakana you can create more characters that uh, using diacritical marks you understand the conversation question more than the nor normal question understand the conversation what what i i don't understand <laughs> okay where are we okay so basically if uh, you want to create the sounds like uh ga Za, da, ba. You use dakuten or tenten or like the the quotation marks that you add in a character to make it into voiced consonants. 
So, you, um, ka becomes ga. Sa becomes za. Da, uh, ta becomes da. And then, ha becomes ba. Oh, question like a dialogue. I see, I see. Okay. And then, you just have to be careful. Like, there are um, things here with asterisk because technically, if you can see, like, when she gets a dakotan, it becomes G. And when chi gets a dakotan, it's all it also becomes G. So they both are G. And then we have su su and t becomes both z z z and z. <laughs> so they're kind of similar. Yeah. And then now we have the other one is maloten or pyong pyong, like the circle. Maloten, like the circle mark that you add. To make the pa pa people pepo line, Hi. okay. So it's semi-voiced p, only applicable for h line or like the ha hi hu he ho becomes pa pi pu pepo. All right. You clear with this? You okay? Let's move on. Okay. So apart from those characters that have that can be that we can add dakoten in, we have contracted syllables. So if you add, if you add a small ya yu yo in in the eye line, I mean like all the characters with ki shi chi ni hi mi li, you can get um kya kyo kyo. Shashu show. It's like kia, but then you contract it and it becomes kia. <laughs> or kia, kia, nya, nya, nya. So we have kia kyu kyo, shashu show, cha chu cho, nya nya nya. In that exact pitch, yes, it bec it like kia becomes kia. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Pokemon voice. <laughs> yeah, but basically anything that has like the I line or E line, like the, the, the here, like the the this one here would have. Uh, can I? Is it possible to speak laser pointer? No. Oh, I can't. Okay, I thought I can draw on screen or something, but no. Jojo voice. Nyan nyan. I don't know what what, is, what do you mean by Jojo. I really should watch Jojo soon. Seriously. <laughs> I, I, um, uh, I cannot catch up with the memes from Jojo. And it, it's sad. <laughs> but I can't. Okay. Where are we? Okay. So we have we have that. Contracted syllables. So to create these characters. You don't either. You're depending on the memes without knowing them truly. <laughs> Cat voice, but Giga Chad voice. Lol. <laughs> okay. Next, we have double consonants. So, to create double consonants, we can add the small ts or sokuon. We, we call it sokuon, but then usually in English or, or like when, when it's taught in class, you wouldn't know that, that it's called sokuon, but then it's a small t. <laughs> chi sai t. It's a small t, and then followed by the constant, followed by the next character or the moda. Sokuon, so not sogon. What? Here, here, here. It's written sokuon. To create double consonants, so uh, this there is just a special case that if you uh, for the end line. To create double N, you use N. Okay? So, go this. So, tatoeba, we have katta. So, like, it's there. Whenever there's a double consonant, yeah, it, there's like, you're having a, like an extension, or like a pause when you when you use it. It's katta versus katta. Saka, hapa, zashi. And then for N, for N, Sannen, Annai. What do you mean, silent to you? 
we don't have silent Q here. Ts ah, Ts <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay with this. So like, um, it's the next character that ha that would have a double consonant and not the the character in front of it or like beforehand. Okay. So kata saka hapa zashi. Sonnen annoi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So apart from uh, double consonants, we also have long vowels. So in hiragana, if you if we want to emphasize a long vowel, we add the vowel itself to to the word. So for example, um, and and then you just. When you pronounce it, 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 of course, it's gonna be longer, you know, when placed together. And then you have to be careful with when when there's um in say e, it's not say, it's say. It's just gonna be double e, double e. And then for um ko u, it's not ko ko, it's ko ko ko. Like it, it's like an extended o rather than o u or o u. Okay, so for example, we have Obasan, Obasan, Ojisan, Ojisan, Shujin, Shujin. <laughs> this is the funniest one in here. Like, we have Shujin, like the husband, and then you have Shujin, which is the prisoner. <laughs> and then we have Seki or Seki. And we also have sensei, right? And then one-san, right? And then we have koko, 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 right? And then oya, oya, <laughs> oya, oya. All right. So those are for the long vowels. Are you catching up so far? Are 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 you holding on, chat? Gambatte. Are you doing fine? Are you surviving? I hope you are. That's new for you? Which one? Which one is new for you? Which one? Do you have any questions here? Can we proceed to the next slide? I believe we can because it's also about long vowels. Oh, about long words. Okay, so for hiragana, we use the vowels, right? But for katakana, to extend the vowels, we use a chuon, like the longer, to, to lengthen the sound or emphasize the long vowels. So you can see it in, in anime titles. Like we have kado kata sakura. Like usually when, when there's our... Oh, sounds like in card captor, card captor. They kado cap, kado capta, capta, kado capta, sakura. It's like a long dash, yes, it's a dash. Two on, they call it two on to emphasize long vowels. Okay, and then we have bodichi, bodichi. Haiku is actually, technically, it's like the Japanese term for volleyball, but then, you know, Katakana can also be used to, like, to italic uh, as as emphasis or like it's like you're putting a word in italics or in bold to emphasize a word. You watch all of this? Wow! Even Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you use where was where was yeah. So haiku when when they made the titles probably to emphasize it more they made it into katakana so we have haiku and then to instead of like using double uh, using u in, in the end they use chu on instead okay no 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 <laughs> i'm not questioning dragon ball i also watched dragon ball when i was a kid and and that's i i think that's my dad's favorite anime as well <laughs> and then we have Stein sugeto. Like, I, go, I don't know if you can see it. Stein sugeto. Geto. And then we have Dragon. 
。ドラゴンボール。ドラゴンボール。Yeah, so, so, okay? So, you, it, it is very evident in most like, animes, especially if they have English title. What? Genki Dama. Genki Dama? Ball? Energy Ball? Is that. I didn't watch Dragon Ball in, in Japanese. There's. Like, so. So, you know how Goku's voice in Japanese is. is very, like, small and something? No! I mean, I, I watched it in Filipino dub. And in Filipino dub. Um. Goku's voice is very iconic. Like. Like, very. Ve- not not manly, but it's very iconic. Like, his. His dubber? Yeah, I know old grandma voice, Goku. Yeah, it's a very dad voice. Seriously, I should show you. I should show you. Wait, wait, wait. We, we need. We need to. Oops, wrong, 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 wrong. There's a. Fil- of course, there's a Filipino dub. Like, it's a very famous. Oh, 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 before we go to Kanji. Aha.、Uh-huh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Goku, Filipino. Go- version. Let's put Goku, Filipino version. Like, everyone knows, like, the ending. Like, Hanga Samuli, Paala. And so they, they would say it like that. Like, like, the ending, like, for the next episode, you would hear that. And it's iconic. Like, people who watch Dragon Ball in Filipino would know that. Let, let, let's try this. Like, um, ah, sheesh, I forgot、uh, the name of. What the heck? Why, why red one? Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Why are we watching Dragon Ball right now? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, let's look for a dialogue part. <laughs> DMCA. This is for research. Let's, let's look for. What the heck? Why is there a, a swear in there? Oh my gosh. Google's instant transmission? Let's, let's, let's try this. Fight scenes last night. Yeah, I know. Natin biro sama. Dahil lalaban ako ng buong lakas. Doin mo ang gusto mo. Ano yun? Doon ba? No, no, it is. It is still here. Walang kahirap niya po na iiwasan. Hmm. Mukhang wala rin pala akong oras para kumain pa ng tanghalian. Nakakainis, ni hindi mo lang ako makatama. Sinabi ko na kasi sa iyo, itigil mo na si? ako ang ito. Si? <sighs> This plan is going to explode in five minutes. <laughs> Why do they all sound the same? I don't know. Um, let me see like the 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 bur. Mahusay ka rin kahit papaano, bata. Lesson into watching anime action. Malinaw ko na nakikita ngayon kung paano mo nagawang talo rin si Frieza. It feels Pero weird for your country. Pero kung ito lang ang meron ka, baka ang pagtalo mo kay Frieza naman tayo kabutin. What do you mean? Like the... Tal- like the... Ah, yes, yes, yes. It's Jeff Utanes there, there. Alright, so he was the one who voiced... Um... Uh... Uh, Goku here. It sounds Malay? Malay? Because... Because we have similar... We kind of have similar... Um, similar ones. Well, where where is? I, I'm looking for something like the ending line, ma'am. Okay, any anyhow. So basically, Jeff Otan is very 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 popular. I mean, he's a very popular、uh, voice actor. To be honest,、uh, yeah. <laughs> It feels like watching Indian cartoons, seriously? Is there anything here? 
Pas la même histoire. Ah, c'est pas la même histoire. Donc, oui, anime fan, c'est ça. Donc, bata. Is there a line where he says lines of 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 Goku? Ma'am, sir, sir. Anyhow. Oh, mga bata. <laughs> like he would, I don't know. Like it's it's iconic when he says that. He says, yeah, anyhow, so yeah, that's that's the um Japanese uh, the the Filipino dubber for for um for Goku. All right, let's go back to the lecture. <laughs> let's go back to the lecture. Where are we? All right. Okay, so that's a preview of like animes that I grew up with in the Philippines. Um, so, for example, I, uh, I, it's weird for me to watch like some old animes, like for example, on Doraemon or or Dragon Ball in in Japanese, because I am used to their voices in in Filipino or. Can we watch one more episode later? <laughs> and there's also one, which one? Uh, uh, um, oh yeah, Samurai for Samurai X. Uh, I mean, I mean the Oni Kenshin. I am used to the English dub. Like there's this one particular English dub that I really like, and they did a good job. <laughs> because uh, Kenshin's voice in in Japanese is also like tiny and weird, but then his voice in English, I love it so much. Anime is just Japanese cartoon. No. <laughs> well, it's it is Japanese animation or something. Like actually, they call cartoons in Japan or or any like Disney film as anime as well because it's animation, right? <laughs> But, but I am with the team that anime. I'm with team anime is different from cartoon. <laughs> you remember? What do you remember? What do you mean? Okay. You ready for the next one? You research. You search about anime and cartoon. Uh, yeah. If ca if anime and cartoon are different, okay. And then, what did you learn? Because the definition is not the same. Ooh, okay. But yeah, yeah. It, it can be different. Like, mostly you would consider those that were made in Japan as anime. And then those that were made from Western as cartoon. But so there are teams, uh, there are factions where. So then, is is Avatar considered anime or cartoon? Like for me, it is cartoon. Cartoon is some like something not real. <laughs> but then, there are lots of things in in anime that are not real as well. So, or it's more like it's more cartoonish and like, and animes have more uniform look looks. Uh, yeah, are you saying anime is real? Real. <laughs> okay, Kokaili, welcome home. How are you doing? Now we move on. That, that's all you know. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Konbanwa. Hi. I still don't have a throw redeem. Throw something at Onets and redeem. Next time. All right. This is something that our Chinese um, chat members know a lot because it's kanji. So these are Chinese characters that represent both meanings and sounds. There are two readings available. We have onyomi, which is the Chinese reading or pronunciation. It's based on. Thank you for the headband. Thank you. Um. So yeah, onyomi is like based on the Chinese reading or pronunciation, and then we have kunyomi, which is the Japanese reading or pronunciation. 
And there are four types of kanji based on formation. So we have pictograms, we have ideograms, we have compound ideograms, and phonetic ideographic characters. You have not learned this yet. So pictograms, so basically, oh, um, based on like what it looks like in nature, and then I tried to write it, and then it transformed to, oh, this is a tree. Oh, that is the sun. So you're still confused? Nah. Or ideogram, so you have an idea that, oh, three, there are three lines and then that's three. Or, or like if you look up, that's up and then the down is also like different, right? And then we have compound ideograms where you, if you combine like the sun and the moon, it's like bright or like um, combine the person on the tree and the person is resting on a tree. Hydrate, thank you so much. How easy, like, it looks like it's very easy for, for Chinese people to type Chinese characters. Well, it's because, like, the keyboard is, is, is it set up like that already? <sighs> All right. And then the last one is phonetic ideographic characters. So, like, um, there's a meaning element in... It is in Lomaji, really. Just is in Lomaji, and then you type it. The same. You're horrible at memorizing Chinese characters. <laughs> it comes with practice. Don't worry. I I also struggle with some kanji. Well, most kanji. Like, uh, because I haven't been practicing kanji recent uh, ever since my my subscription to Wanikani expired I haven't been <laughs> sheesh why can I read that did, did I read it correctly let, let me just double check oh my gosh can 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 how 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 oh my gosh <laughs> wow <Well. laughs> What the heck? What the heck? Why? Sheesh! I am right! Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! Yeah. Well, I mean. <laughs> nah. Okay, where were we? Okay, so you're Thai, but English need English to understand Japanese. Now you need to learn Chinese to understand Japanese. <laughs> it's the simpler I rather than the. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're kind of com. You, you'll be a polyglot at the end of this. Yeah, right. Okay, so anyhow, like we have phonetic ideographic characters. So you have the meaning element. So for example, here is the radical. Um, basically, like kanji are represented with radicals or like the components of each kanji. So here you have the um, radical for water and radical for day or sun. And then we have the sound element. So this, get, the, this kanji is then read as se. Both of them are read as se, but then, like, the left side radical would give the meaning. So, for example, this se here is clean, and then this se here is clear sky. Right? Yeah, so. So, that's, like, brief preview of kanji. <laughs> Alright? Okay? Are we good with this? Any, anything else that you can share, guys? Or, or maybe you have a question. You good? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the other characters uh, apart from Hiragana, Katakana, and Kanji. So there are easy ma'am <laughs> Okay. Okay, so furigana is a small kana that you usually see on top of kanji as a guide for reading the kanji. Okay, so here you can see like a color page in it from a manga. 
and then not gonna lie in this case kanji is the whole meaning of the title yeah exactly you never watched this anime before well this is in manga but i i like the anime of this because of the songs that they sung <laughs> anyhow so if you look closer like we have hiragana right so they demo and then if you cannot read sekai here you have a guide like a very very small hiragana there that read the sekai sekai they are the normie of the norm and then what utsukushi so this kanji is like oh, kanji for beauty and then we have because it's an adjective like sekai not sekai sekai so we uh furigana is very useful in utsukushi hai utsukushi so so that demo sekai wa utsukushi okay so um furigana is very useful but it can also be um not useful because for example oh, of course it's helpful in in telling you how to read names so for example um the name of the author is shinadai shinadai yeah so it's this the kanji if you don't know like how to read it or there are multiple readings for each kanji the furigana will help you with with the reading or for example actually uh, uh if you let's let's look later but yeah for example especially in in children's manga you would see lots of furigana for non-common or very complicated kanji so to help the kids or to help the readers but but then if you if you go with like um uh, it's sometimes detrimental in a sense that your eyes would tend to look at the hiragana or the furigana rather than focusing on learning how to read the kanji, you know? So for example, my eyes would lead to um, taiho no hc, I mean, komiks, uh, komiks, uh, this is, I believe, I'm not sure if it's in Han, ah, hana, hana to yume, comics, like the comic name, like komiks ni daiko hyo. Like, I would read this one rather than reading this one. Like, I would read this Daisuke. <laughs> right? But then, it's actually like, uh, the, the three of them is like, the whole word, not not. But. Furigana still existed due to a lot of adults Japanese still haven't mastered kanji. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. So, uh, as you can see, Eve, um, Furigana can also be in katakana, like here, when when they describe like how do you read HC here? It's actually just comics. It's the comics, right? Comics. Hi. All right. Um, another one if. For example, let me. Oops. Uh, 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 here. Um, let's let's look at the title of Kisekoi uh, uh, Dress Up Darling logo. Like the title of um, Kisekoi or Dress Up Darling or like the Sonobisuku do wa koyo suru. If you look at the title of it. It's oh, oh, oh maybe maybe it's faster here in is it faster and on their Twitter? Is it on their Twitter header? <laughs> we will see. We will see. Yeah, there, 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 there. Okay, let's look at the header here. If you look closely, um it's not exactly like this is the what the what is the technical term for the for that doll? For, but then they put uh, a katakana furigana here to, to help you read this one instead of like the Japanese reading for the doll you read it as biskudoru rather than something ningyo because I cannot read the kanji <laughs> koyosuru so biskudoru wa koyosuru wait 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 let me see let me see if sono sono 
奇世界的人形 ，the dress up doll， 奇世界的人形，我可以我是对，到了，所以奇世界的人形 ，but they put it as biscuit doll rather than 奇世界的人形 ，all right， okay， so that's one thing that you can consider。Why, why, why they put it like that? Okay, so it helps you give like if you don't want them to read it like that, you give a different reading then. All right. Okay, we good with this. Next is of course romaji. Romaji are the transliterations of the Japanese characters for Roman alphabet. All right. So in my in my classes we we use kunureshiki. Um, I'll explain later with a video, another video.、Um, like the, there are different kinds of rom 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 romaji. I actually thought, like when I was, especially in high school, when I was just starting to like get exposed to Japanese language,、um, I thought it was romanji rather than romaji, romaji. Yeah, and then all this time, like only recently, like about oh.、Uh, A few years ago, did I actually see that? Oh, it's actually the omaji, not the omaji. Yeah. So, so basically, yeah, the omaji, the omaji. All right, let's watch this video, and then where was I? Let me pause the music. <laughs> okay, and then to help us see, like, especially like in lyrics, I still use romaji because it's just faster to read rather than rather than in rather than read the Japanese one. Romaji look like karaoke language <laughs> in your country, exactly, right? So, like, in in okay. We have this video to explain the different romaji and what what do you use. Okay, let's play this video and we have the sensei. Hello, everybody. This is Yuko Sensei from SmileNihongo.com. Today, I will talk her? about romaji. Romaji. Uh, romaji means romanization of Japanese language. Okay. And、uh, it's a writing system to spell Japanese in Western alphabets like this. Okay. It is something that was invented for non-Japanese people who cannot read our letters, which are hiragana, katakana, and kanji. So, do Japanese people use romaji? The answer is yes and no. We mainly use romaji to communicate or post some、like、information for, for foreign people. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's mostly for foreign、letters. people as well. So you may see something written in romaji at places that foreign people would visit, such as the airport, train station,、uh, information center, or sightseeing spots. Okay, but we Japanese already have our own letters, right? So we don't use romaji to communicate with each other. No, we don't do that, and we don't even learn this、uh, romaji writing system until around, I would say, fourth or fifth grade in the elementary、ah, school. Ah, yeah, right. I didn't learn this until fourth grade, and even then, we didn't learn how to write like the entire paragraph in romaji.、Mm -hmm. no, we didn't learn <laughs> such a thing. We were taught how to spell simple words in Romaji, and that was it. So please keep in mind that、uh, to read something that was entirely written Romaji is very hard for us to do. Hard for、it's、Japanese, hard for but very easy for for email <laughs> for foreigners. In Romaji, it takes time for me. Okay, but anyway, today what I want to talk about is based on one question that I got from a student. And the question was this: Why are there a few yeah, different a ways、start. to spell the same word in Romaji? One example is this word, sensei. 
Sensei means teacher in Japanese, and this is how we spell the word in hiragana. Se, n, se, i. Although we spell this sensei i, we pronounce this one sensei, not sensei. Okay? But anyway, this is how sen that word sensei looks in hiragana. Okay? But when you spell this word in romaji, you may sometimes see something like this, or this, or this. They are all different, right? This one has a little uh, line on top of the E letter. And this one has an E at the end. And this one has an E at the end. Okay. Mainly the difference among these three are the ending. How you spell the se sound. Romaji is hard to write to kanji. Okay. And uh, my question, I mean, my students asked me which one is the correct way to spell sensei. The answer is they are all correct. Okay, since uh, Romaji is a, a foreign letters for us Japanese, like glasses. we don't have one fixed word to spell something is in Romaji. Glasses similar to hers? These three are the most no, common types of Romaji kind of spelling that is in use oh. in current time. Okay, this one is called Speaking of like system. glasses, I, I need this to wipe my glasses. This one is called Kunlei system, and this one is called JSL system. Okay, so I don't know which one you use, but uh, the difference among these three is this. Hepburn system mainly follow English phonology. <laughs> so I would say this is the most common one that is used outside Japan, especially in English speaking countries. Okay, and then uh, also one characteristic of Hepburn system is this one. Yeah, Hepburn we would call have this a macron. Okay, like a this macron. little line indicates that it's a long vowel. You have to make this sound a little bit longer. So it's called sensei. Mirai. Sensei. Sensei. Okay, this is Hepburn system. And then second one, Kunlei system. This is the one that we learn in school. Okay, yeah, that, this I'm one, also more one used to Kunlei system. Follow how we spell that word in hiragana. So that's why you have se e here. That's how we spell that in hiragana, right? Sensei. Sensei. However, we pronounce this one, sensei. Okay? So this is the most common one that uh, is used uh, inside Japan. Ah, uh, you're right. This one, this one. Okay? Then, this one is the newest one. This Pinlay is the easiest for outside Japan? In Japanese language classrooms. So this one follows how strictly how we pronounce the word. As I said, even though we spell this one sensei, we pronounce this word sensei. sensei. Right? That's why in I this use JSL sensei. system oh. <laughs> that is mainly used in Japanese language classroom, we spell sensei as we pronounce the word sensei. I mainly use this one when I teach my students mm. in school. Okay? But so I think it's more useful to have Kunrei. And then how Sensei. you should spell a Japanese word in Romaji. The answer is it depends Loading on the system Ren. that you use. Lo. And there's no one fixed word to spell Japanese language in Romaji. Okay, yeah, I Kunrei also get this question sometimes from my students. There are three types is here. Is it good to keep using Romaji when you are learning Japanese Romaji, not Romanji. Of course, it helps. Uh, there's in the no N, right? I thought Without I thought Romanji before all letters, this time. I thought, you can start but it's Romanji. Or phrases in Japanese. However, if you are serious about improving your Japanese language skills, I highly recommend that you start learning Japanese letters too. Okay, the sooner that you connect the Japanese sounds with Japanese letters the quicker you are going to improve your Japanese. Because there are some sounds in <laughs> yeah, Japanese is carbon copy uh, that are impossible to transcribe in Western alphabets, such as la li ru re ro. So again, if you are serious about improving your Japanese, please start learning Japanese letters as soon as possible. Okay? Okay, I hope oh, okay. today's lesson was helpful, and then I will see you in the next lesson. では、また。では、また。
Are you she so? She so? Master? What? <laughs> All right. Okay. We good with that? All right. Let's move on. Let's go back. I am not she so. Lol. More kanji. No. <laughs> Where was I? Okay. Going back to so we we good with that? Oops. Wait. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 Let me. There. All right. Okay. Do you have any other questions? So we have. Well, I just put the lyrics here because, yeah. Uh, Abetake no yume wo kakiatsume sagashi mono sagashi ni. Are we there yet? <laughs> We're actually at the end of the lesson already. So if you don't have any question, we just have like some trivia before we end the lesson. And then I'll show you some of the things that I can share um, future students that I will give or share future students. For those who are interested to take my lessons. Okay, so... Are we, are we gonna sing? One piece. Yep. <laughs> All right. I put that because like the favorite anime of my student back back when I made this slides is One Piece. So yeah. Okay. Trivia time. Trivia time. So. How do you survive without Japanese? You will hear it in another 10 years. <laughs> Man, like how long will, will one piece last before it ends? You know, okay. So in Japan, if you're planning to travel to Japan anytime soon or like in the future, or if you have an upcoming trip, there are tips you can do like if you what ended my, 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 my stream but it's just been like less than two hours why why do you want me to end this <laughs> just kidding and one piece ask ask kishimoto sensei why hi <laughs> all right so we have um Um, broken English is better rather than like speaking like very fluently so like just use the main words <laughs> only speak the thing you want <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay instead of saying like where is the toilet you will say toilet where <laughs> right <laughs> Yeah, ma'am, we thought of the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Toilet. Toilet, what the fuck is called? Toilet, where? Lol, yeah. And next, we have, of course, Google Translate and Google Maps will be your best friend while traveling. There are also other apps that you can download while, while when you're traveling. For example, there's a... Uh, apart from Google Maps, I actually like this um, Japan Transit Planner. So to help you with um to help you choose which stations or which train rides would be would be useful would be better to ride if if you're going from one place to another. And then um have a Suica or Pasmo card like it's the it's the card that you use on trains, on buses, and even on like uh the, the convenience stores and, and uh, vending machines they, uh, you can use your Suica or Pasmo card it's very useful or, or on restaurants I also accept that your country just created an app for toilet eh? <laughs> seriously? <laughs> why is it because like your food is spicy and then you have to basically know where the toilet is every time <laughs> okay um, remember the four basic greetings. Konnichiwa, arigato, sumimasen, wakarimasen. Of course, konnichiwa is like the basic for hello. We have 
<laughs> Arigato. Thank you. Tetras. Okay, they welcome. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? Join us in chat. Hi. Arigato is thank you. Sumimasen is excuse me or sorry. Can be used both ways. Wakarimasen, I don't know. Wakarimasen. Gomenasai. You can also use Gomenasai. Sumimasen. Sumimasen. Hi. All right. And then, most importantly, you should learn the kanji for men and women because there are times when some toilets, some comfort rooms, some washrooms do not have like the symbol for him. Yeah, I'm going to stop. Yeah, the, the, some, some establishments do not have. No, Shagbrak, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like some establishments wouldn't have um, like the symbol for male and female like this so they would only have the kanji so it would be better if you remember the kanji for men and women at the very least all right and do not believe shagbrek okay this is the kanji for men and this is the kanji for women all right kanji for male kanji for female Male is the complicated one, exactly, because um, guys are complicated. <laughs> but then, like, females are complicated, too. Like, I don't know, humans are complicated. You know, the simpler one, like, I, I, I really like, like, how, how they made the kanji for, for a female. Like, we have kunoichi, the, the, the female ninja. <laughs> Yeah, I know about that, Azzy. <laughs> I know about the kanji. It's a female sitting? Oh, it can. <laughs> Alright. This is actually the end of... Oh, I, I, I still included this? Oh, okay. So if you take my class... um, What would... What you would do... What we would basically do after the first meeting uh, like for the next meeting um you will learn the basic greetings and basic classroom expressions we would all we would also try practicing like um recognizing japanese characters and writing your name in japanese in katakana and that's all for this slide arigatou gozaimashita hi so i mean that's all for this presentation seriously I thought it's just noise. <gasps> Seriously. Okay. Kimi no nawa. What is the. Oh! Because. Um. Wada is to laugh in Japanese. And then you have. Wada we have W on, on at the start, right? So in Japan, they would use WW. Like uh, multiple W's to, to refer to laughing sound. And then. Yeah, what. Wa and then it, some some would combine it like it because when you see W like that it would look like a grass so sometimes like if you're really like their lol is instead of like using WW yeah for yeah in Thai it's 555 right but then if in in Japanese if you're laughing out loud your lol is like grass like they they tie up the kanji for grass like let me let me Kusa. Kusa. This one. They type this and that is lol. <laughs> because it's because W looks like yes. Yeah, yeah, here, here. Lol haha. Because um multiple repetitions of W resembles grass. Okay. And then you also have this W. What <laughs> yeah, because of what I they, they can also use this as lol actually as internet slang this character here but but mostly it's it's just w repeated and it's gonna be like lol for them okay yeah literally it's this one yep okay smile yep or laugh yep 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 okay Let's watch Chris. <laughs> um, 
How difficult is traveling Japan without Japanese? Okay, let's try. Let's try watching this、um, video. And then I will show you some other things that I share in, for my class if you take my class.、Uh, why? They, most Japanese laugh kind of like grash. Grash? What? Their laugh is like grash? Grash? Grass sound? <laughs> Grashish. Bam! <laughs> Why? Why you confuse me like that? Grashish, shun shun. Why is Muppet? Why is? Why is Pete's emote? Chris, meow. <laughs> All right, let's go watch this. And then、uh, maybe we can get some tips when we travel to Japan. One of the most intimidating and anxiety-inducing aspects of travelling overseas is the sudden inability to communicate with the world around you. It's probably no surprise then that over、He's、the years,、so、one of the most popular questions I've got is how difficult is it to travel Japan without Japanese? Now, in the run-up to the 2020 Olympics, many businesses across Japan are investing all their pocket money in preparing for foreign tourists. But there's no doubt the language barrier exists here in a homogenous、so、culture、old. where、She、English speakers、so, can seem、so、few and far between. In this video, we'll discuss the most common problems that will pop up along the way, from public transport and dining out to some useful communication strategies that will help you break down the language barrier with the locals. But I'll start with two pieces of reassuring news, though. The first is that I put a survey out on Twitter asking people if they found Japan difficult to travel without Japanese. There were 3,600 responses, with two thirds saying they didn't find it difficult. Now that's great. Then again, Twitter questionnaires should always be taken with a pinch of salt, especially as I put out a follow-up survey asking people if they'd rather be a bagel or an Alaskan <laughs> salmon. Within 40. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Ads, ma'am. In 47 minutes, 739 people have responded with 45 yeah, percent of respondents、COVID. choosing、exactly. to be a delicious inanimate object over a living creature rich in omega-3.、Uh, that should have been a clear, open and shut case. Obviously, the answer was salmon. The second piece of reassuring news is that I've known numerous expats living and working in Japan over the years across various sectors. Who have lived comfortably in Japan without knowing any Japanese whatsoever, and while yeah, you, it's not obviously ideal, it、ELD? is completely not, doable. I mean, when I came、required. here without knowing much of the language, I was often a little、Just、bit anxious、Japanese. in various situations that the、uh, the locals might get angry at me when they found out that I lived here without knowing any of the language. Really, after all, I'd had travel experiences in some countries. In the past, where the locals had lost their temper or snapped at me for my inability to communicate in their language. Obviously, I'm not going to name any names. <coughs> France. But not once in my time here has anybody got angry at me or lost、Seriously? their cool for my inability、in、to、France? communicate. On the contrary, Japanese people are very understanding and fully aware that、They're、Japanese is almost exclusively spoken、learning. within Japan,、uh, and it is quite difficult and it takes a long time to learn. Thus, if you do make an effort and show you know some Japanese, know you'll instantly win favour with the locals because you'll be. In the minority of foreign travellers who can speak and use a little bit of Japanese. Better still, though, English is almost everywhere these days, from restaurant menus and、That's、road signs so young,、yeah. to trendy T-shirts. Mind you, the English、speaking? might not always be native speaker <laughs> level of English, but it gets the job done. Take this notebook that I bought the other day, for example.、Uh, it's covered in trendy, cool English expressions on the front here, like "relax time" and "keep calm" and "pleasing smell." And yet, the thing that gives it away that it might not have been proofread or written by a native speaker is the big word at the top, where it just says "dribble,"、uh, <laughs> "dribble." It's not typically the sort of thing you'd find on a notebook back home.、Uh, I don't know why they thought that would enhance the sales of the of the notebook, but nonetheless, it's English, just just not as we not as we know it. Are you enjoying? <laughs> So having just landed in special, Japan, typically at Haneda Airport or Narita or Kansai、oh, really? International, you'll find getting out of the airport and into the city a fairly easy, seamless process. Everything is wonderfully signposted. But soon after arriving at the city, problems might arise at one of the smaller stations when you look up at the map to find it is exclusively written in kanji characters. Now perhaps you think, <laughs> oh no problem, I'll just use the ticket machine and hit the English button and type in the name of the station. Haha, <laughs> I'm so brilliant. But wait, because you're not. For local trains and the underground, rather than typing in the name of the station, you need to know the ticket price of the place you're going. 
And to find out the cost of that ticket, you need the map that you can't read. <laughs> Obviously, you can get around this easily by asking a member of staff. As long as you mutter the name of the station or the general direction of where you want to go, no problem. But my favourite option is just to get a Suica card or a Passmore card, which you top up with a few thousand yen. I can't tell you the cost of going anywhere in Japan or Tokyo just because I use this. So rather than knowing the cost of your ticket price, just keep this filled up with a few thousand yen every day and you're all good. Same goes for the JR Rail Pass. That's half the benefit of getting the JR Rail Pass. You don't need to worry about using ticket machines all the time. And you can get it's this so for convenient. 500 yen at pretty much any ticket machine across Japan. Having, I think for another those, few hundred yen, you can get your name written on it as well. I haven't done that because I'm, I'm cheap. I would strongly urge first time travellers coming to Japan to get a SIM card or a portable Wi-Fi so you have the internet with you, mainly just so you can use Google Maps. It is the main way that I and most foreign travellers get around Japan. All the train times and all the bus times are input into it seamlessly. The, Honestly, without so Google Maps, I don't the, think uh, uh, they follow the schedule, right? Lost in a forest somewhere. Yeah, I also hope my country becomes like that. Berries. But I don't know Maybe, yeah. what, like how long to get there. I mean, that... To get to the, the As somebody who state, travels around know. Japan quite a lot, I found that this isn't an issue at all. I think you'll have no problems with accommodation, whether you're using hotels, Airbnb, yeah, Singapore, or even Singapore staying at traditional is also good. Japanese inn. Has a good, That's a lie. There um, might be one, one issue. If you're lucky enough to have a public bath or a hot spring built into your accommodation, you'll find that they're segregated by male and female, and sometimes they're poorly labelled as to which one is which. This could end in spectacular disaster and lots I'm of I'm not sure like why do they why Japan start. has uh, more, so what uh, I would encourage ones. you to do uh, just because not only do public baths use it but also toilets across Japan they sometimes only have kanji characters in male and female especially at smaller bars and restaurants so I because would actually business, encourage you to learn yeah, those two characters they wouldn't give male up. and female they're probably the only two characters you'll ever need to know Better still, you can impress all your friends and family at your next birthday party when you whip out a pen and pretend to know how to write lots of Japanese. <laughs> giving the momentary illusion that you are a genius with extensive cultural knowledge. Uh, I mean, for that reason alone, it's definitely, it's definitely worth it. Uh, Singapore is smaller than Japan. Yeah, of course. It's like, just... As somebody who eats one out, main uh, well, more, more than they probably should. I tend to find, in, in the bigger restaurants, this isn't an issue. You will find English menus, or even Field then just strength. menus yeah, exactly. with pictures on that you can point at. Typically, the smaller the bar or restaurant and the further out into the countryside it is, the less likely you will find English. And in the terrifying event there's neither English nor photos you can desperately point at, uh, you are going to have to wing it. Now, I did make a video a few months ago talking about nightlife etiquette and dining out etiquette. However, the most important phrase and thing in that video is the phrase, Osusume wa. Osusume wa means, what do you recommend? If you point at the menu and say, Osusume wa, typically the staff will probably laugh in surprise, chuckle in surprise first. That is the only Japanese phrase that you know. Osusume and then they will try and do their best to explain what it is before you enthusiastically order it. Unless, of course, you're a vegetarian and the specialty is pork, in which case, so you can just point at yourself and say vegetarian because fortunately the word for vegetarian in Japanese is vegetarian. It's kind of like <laughs> the same. And that's another really useful point for dining out in Japan. Government Many foods, the words the words themselves the same are gaidaigo or mm. foreign borrowed words. Take for example beef, chicken and pork. For beef you can say beef. Mm -hmm. For pork you can say pork. pork. For chicken you can say chicken. And for horse you can say sashi. <laughs> All right, there's a handful of exceptions, but you get the general idea. Take fruit, for example. Orange is orange. Banana is banana. Apple is apple. And cherry is shakalaba. <laughs> Again, some, some exceptions. The only other two words you really need to know are beer, which is biru, and whiskey, which is whiskey. And there you have it. So don't be afraid to use guide eagle. Don't be afraid to try and say the word. I'm not necessarily saying try and pronounce those words in their guide eagle Japanese form. I'm saying try and just say I mean, the word. In here, in English, you still have to the mostly pay for it. Except for like the train saying. stations. You'll find in the absence of for English conversation every other practice transportation, school, most Japanese you would people need... do tend to lack confidence in speaking. And you would need to, to talk a bit more about this along with cash. the or unless you're, you're four booking Japanese grab phrases you need to know or before Uber, you come to Japan. I'll now hand you over um, to a real life Japanese your, man like, who stole e a British or something. Um, even though uh, we learn English six years, um, 
Is the country not using English for business commonly? Not tourist location using no no English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you have to do when you come to Japan is don't make sentences long. For instance. Uh, some people like me, when you ask if the food is good or bad, you can say, is it good? But when you say, is it good? It sounds like one word for Japanese people. So you can just take one word, one most important word in, in this case, which is good. So say good or bad, just take one word and they'll, they'll understand you. Instead of saying, why is the toilet? You can say, toilet, where? Can you speak English? Just say English, okay? And it will make it like really <laughs> simple that they'll, they'll get you. So there are only four phrases that you have to know when you come to Japan and that, that will get you by. First one is konnichiwa, and that's like hello, as everyone knows. But second one is uh, I'm sorry or excuse me, um, that is sumimasen. And then thirdly uh, is thank you, which is arigato. No, no. Like, arigato, arigato is a silly flag or with the facial expression of things. Yeah. Lastly, it's, 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 it's you technically here. When you don't understand, when you don't know things, you can say, wakarimasen. I just summarized that is, it. That means I don't slide. know or I don't understand. So these are four phrases that useful phrases that you might be um, want to use, uh, what you might want to use when you come to Japan. So some useful communication strategies from Realtor yeah. there. One thing I'd like to add is that whilst Japanese people tend to be pretty shy and pretty reserved, uh, they're also extremely helpful and selfless in the event you need some help or assistance. Never be afraid to ask somebody on the street or at a convenience store for help if you need it. In the past, I've had shop staff stop working, stop what they're doing, and draw me an elaborate map of where I need to go. And don't be surprised if some shop staff even stop working altogether and like escort you down the street. It's happened to me numerous times over the years. Uh, when it happens, you feel incredibly guilty, but uh, yeah, don't be surprised when it does. People here are surprisingly selfless, and it's that's one of the best things about How Japan. so, Just Shane make Rick? sure you carry a bit of paper mean? so somebody can draw you an elaborate <laughs> map. Uh, I guess that's as good a reason as any to get to get a dribble notebook. A yeah. dribble notebook. Dribble. There's a, I've noticed there's a dribble coffee maker there. Look at that. What's all <laughs> that about? Are they making coffee from dribble? What would that taste like? I don't I don't even want to know. Be careful what notepads you buy in Japan. I mean, this costs 100 yen, and look at all the time I've wasted trying to make sense of the strange, wacky English on the front. All this dribble <laughs> business I like the wacky has led me down a spiraling of, dark of hole into nothingness. So yeah, be careful what notepads you buy. So I hope these quick tips have been useful. If you're traveling to Japan and wondering how much it's gonna cost, you can check out our video, How Expensive Is It To Travel Japan? which gives you a breakdown on everything from food and accommodation oh, there's to transport a dribble, and the JR Rail Pass. Really? For now though guys, I hope you have an amazing trip to Japan. Many thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Swallow or shallow? Oh, what? Back on TV. Yeah, that's it. All right, what a very old video. How old is this video? Five years ago, ma'am. <laughs> Free ad for Chris. <laughs> Lol. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> the salty member of the rest days. Lol. But yeah, so. Saltiest member of trash days. Yeah, yeah. You can't remember the name for the method. Like, it's not a drip method right like you're dripping coffee or something right is it is that what you're referring to i'm not so sure viet what do you mean viet viet coffee oh really would they have it like that okay anyhow that's the end of the slide so that's what i teach for the first lesson so if you're trying to get like if you want to be able, if you want to enroll in my classes of, and you watch this whole stream i would most likely be skipping this uh, this one and then jump on to the next lesson most likely or it depends on like what your what you need and then i would i would adjust to to your level all right so what do I provide my students? So I would give um, uh, these Notion links for them. So it 
comes with this. So for example, I have this Notion link where um, I would put the name of the student uh, and then I would put the lessons in here and the materials that I would provide them. So it's, it's like this. Everything is here. All the lessons will be here. Um, like each one would have like the material for the orientation from the orientation because I usually meet and orient the students first before before I do anything else um, to, to know their, their expectations. All right, and then um, this one is the intro. Uh, this one is what we did today. So we had like the introduction to Japanese language. There's the objectives and the slides. Yeah. So I mean, just just so we we know the expectations. So for example, if okay, before anything else, what I'm teaching is basic Japanese. So up to I can only teach up to level N four. Actually, like. N5 to like beginner N4. Do not expect me. I am not N1, ma'am. I wish to be N1, so I'm still studying. I'm still going on this journey towards uh, studying the language, so. But then, I mean, we can help each other. I'm just a guide. And apart from that, I also. Your expectation is only to understand arcade machines? Ooh. <laughs> like, do you play often? Like, um, what, what games do you play then? Okay, in the arcade. Okay, anyhow, so we have this um, page that I share where you can um, browse it before like the start of the lesson, and then you have your what what um, like how you set your goals or the guidelines and anime exactly an anime and then um i provide different materials like i use mainly madogoto and you can also research about this refold method here and then i have different relevant links and references like um links for a japanese um english dictionary um adding japanese keyboard chrome extensions that are useful um hiragana and katakana learning tools audio resources srs websites etc and so on so just that youtubers to follow to learn chat to learn japanese you really hate when you play and you don't understand how to search for your favorite song ah oh, you're right yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very useful, especially if you if you're in an arcade and then you're playing Guitar Hero or like, um, Drum Mania or something. Yeah. Also in in, in karaoke that that has no romaji. Yeah, that's true. That's true. In uh, Jap learning Japanese like even just kiragana or especially when you when you know um, kanji already. Use technology, but still you ha kind of have to like know it or like to help helpful if you can recognize it. So. Anyhow, so we have these materials that I provide if you enroll in my class. Okay? Alright. Are we good with this? Do you have any questions? I also have like a list of recommended shows that you can watch in on Netflix or wherever. And then you can um you can watch it with both um English and Japanese subtitles if you want to. Just using Chrome extensions like Language Reactor or something. Yeah. All right. So let's go back to the main slide. Just chatting. Again, if you are interested to take classes under me, it's just um, if you, especially if you're interested in in like Japanese culture and you want to be able to get a deeper understanding of Japanese. You'll, you'll try at least one of my courses. Thank you. Yeah, so each session is um, $15. It, it, it helps me a lot if you can. And if you get my promo, like eight sessions, it's like um, like a twice per week thing. And then you have eight, uh, like four weeks, eight sessions. Depends on, yeah. Don't Just contact me. Uh, it will be available all the time. If, if you get it like for... for like a bundle you can get it for a hundred dollars so that's like um 12 oh how much is it again let me get my books <laughs> how much is that dog in the window yeah so if you get if you're getting it at uh a hundred dollars that's gonna be around 1250 per session so that's a, a 
big big discount okay I hope I hope I actually I, I did this to promote my classes and, and because I, I really need some help with, um, to, to, to and I thought that originally I was contemplating if I should open this up because if you've seen my other streams before you you can see that I I, I understand the struggles of studying a language and and uh, I I know I have limitations as well when it comes to Japanese. Like I'm not very good with with most kanjis yet. I'm I'm still studying. I'm still trying, and um, I'm just basically like gonna be your guide as as you go along the way, and it's, and especially like if you're just beginning to study Japanese. All right, and what else can I say? Um. I'm excited. Like, if if any of you are interested, please do um, DM me on on Twitter or on Discord. If you've seen my, I don't know if you've seen my website. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me show you my website. <laughs> Where was I? Ah, uh, here. Again. So, this is my website. Um, you can check out my my Twitter. Twitch, YouTube, Discord. If you want to send a tip, you can send tips on stream elements, gank. If I have a throne as well. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, for my website? Oh, you're right. I, I don't have like a comment for my website. I should add one. But before, yeah. Teach me. So so this is the link for the for the post regarding the details on on the Japanese lessons or I should probably add add a command for, for the card. Wait. Let, let me add that right now. <laughs> uh, command custom there. Let's add it as um website card something. <laughs> yeah, but every every link is here. The, the Discord link here is not the uh, link for the my server because it's still private. My, my Discord server is still private, so this one le should lead you to my profile. If if you if I'm not yet your friend or, or or like if you don't have my contact on Discord, it should link you to my profile so that you can DM me on on Discord. Let me add a new command. Okay, um, command is web. Let's add, uh, um check out um so my socials are also on the on my about on twitch on twitch so it's there um check out my socials at there okay all right um let's put advanced settings other command aliases would be website card okay i think uh, uh, socials there all right um, let me activate that. Oh my gosh. Burp. Sorry. Okay. So, web. There. All right. My socials are there. So, so you know. So, you know where to find me. Okay. All right. What else? Um, if you're wondering, like, how. Where. The payment like how how the payment scheme would be um if you're going with just per class um it's gonna be let, let's look at the post okay if you're if you're thinking of taking it like per session i take it after the class and then if you're gonna make the take the bundle it's gonna be like after the first class all right and then yeah, it's mostly it's gonna all is gonna be discussed during the orientation and the orientation is not yet paid so you can still consider oh should I push through this or should I not or when when should I do this so if you just wanna inquire and get to know more about what you're getting at please do DM me or can can you pay in gank yes I would appreciate if you can pay in gank because gank doesn't take char uh, um fees for from anyone so you can pay through gank 
and you can also pay through PayPal but if you pay through PayPal I would request you to pay it as friends and family so that uh, there would wouldn't be charges on me <laughs> yeah so I think one uh, it's gonna be useful if you can check out my gang uh, is this my gang oh this the one where's my gang where uh, that's that's okay here <laughs> here gang so so if you can check out my gank that would be very much useful um it's also i bel- i also added the link if you want to get the service through gank i put up a shop it, it, i put up a sh- service here where you can um get me okay um of course the uh, language that will be used when teaching would be in Mostly in English, or if you're a Filipino, it's gonna be Taglish, so that we can better understand each other. So you can get me, you get the service through this one if you have like gang coins or something. But so, or if you wanna pay through gang, we just put it in uh, as a donation. You add it as a donation. All right, and then I would, I always take note of it, whether you've paid, and I would always track. Uh, like in the notion link um like when you pay like what uh, the duration of payment uh, the date and so that we are all clear and everything is tracked all right so if you have any other questions let me know but then again again it would, it would be very much appreciated if you can if you can get me as your tutor or as someone who can help you start your journey in learning Japanese by by contacting me I think everyone like especially I know there are lurkers there hello okay they welcome home I was wondering like the like should I should I put like oh if you want the VTuber model to be talking to you should I put like an extra <laughs> <laughs> then it's gonna be weird yeah coleman hi you didn't claim for us okay oh, welcome home how are you doing yeah so 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 let, let's look at the alt for, so so you get more info so are you interested in anime shape of yeah i am here to help hire me as your private online tutor i have been teaching basic japanese like n3 and i know n5 to n4 level and um if you know cfr is like the um um like the CFR. What is CFR? It's, it's a, something like a s- European framework. Something. CFR levels. Yeah, here. So it's um it encompasses not only like JLPD but everything. A co- common European framework for refer of reference for languages there. So for example, let's look at Wiki. Yeah. So um all right so basic basic uh, beginners would be at mostly a1 and a2 this is like uh, n5 and then going to n4 like uh, the b level independent user and then if if you're at c like you're more advanced and then i, I believe it's up to d why is it only up to c here uh let's, let's look here oh oh yeah yeah it's right a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 sorry that that's my mistake so there are six levels yeah. you could have claimed first but you saw fonzi type but it was azzy who claimed first <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right where are we so yeah um again during the orientation that's where we would set our expectations and then we would i would i adjust i always adjust to like the pace of the student so if i see that um in in a session oh yeah each session is one hour but sometimes i go over time so i make sure that there are ex- there is extra time on my end to so that we uh, we can like catch up first or chat about like your, how your day has been before we proceed to the class and then like um warming up and uh, uh, like a uh, closing in the end we can discuss like what what do we do over uh, at the next lessons and all all classes shall be um conducted over on discord so you you must have discord 
Um, yeah, so as you can see, before starting classes, I would set a short meeting to give an orientation on what to expect on class, payment schemes, and other matters. And then, if you have any inquiries, again, um, send me a DM on Twitter or Discord. All right, all right. Yeah, you know, alt alt text in 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 Twitter is very useful because you have like a thousand characters. Of space to to add more info. Where is your freedom of choice? You wasn't first, so you're gonna be the last. <laughs> what do you mean freedom of choice? Um. Yeah. If you still want to consider sending a tip over, of course, my my tips are open here. You must have uh, <laughs> ah, you must have Discord. Like it's the most convenient one. But of course, like if you are more comfortable doing it over on on Zoom or on on Google Meets, we can do that as well. So so okay, fine. Discord is not required, but it's the most convenient for for communication. Just for me. Send, send send you a tip as well? No. You were the one who sent me something over on Gang way, way back. You're you're here. You're like one of the top supporters. Man. <laughs> uh what else? Oh yeah, if you can see, uh l l let me just show you. Um I actually wanna share as well that um I have a subscription goal right now of getting 30 subs. Uh because uh, wait, wait, wait. Why is it shown like that? Anyhow, yeah. Um, oh, it's not showing up there. Lol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, maybe in just chatting it would show up different. No! <laughs> Lol. It's not showing. <laughs> Anyhow. I uh, I have a goal of like having because I saw I saw in my payout that oh I need around fifteen dollars more to get my Twitch payout but then it has to be worth the subs and the and and bits so I am considering doing uh, a subathon sometime this April so that I can complete that um, goal so that I can get. <laughs> get twitch payout <laughs> well so hard <laughs> but then uh apart from that uh i can I, i'll probably do that once i finished um some projects that i'm also doing because i'm also doing video editing projects right now fortunately someone hired me to 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 to, to do those but then i have I also need more more sources of income so i am doing this as well offering classes so it would be very much helpful if you can and yeah yeah that's the end of the lecture part again fortunately i have that skill yeah fortunately i learned uh, editing over the course of the pandemic like i would do covers and then i would edit the covers as well but i'm not like very much of an expert expert but it's still it's still passable Visual editing is a good skill to have, yeah. <laughs> there, um, mm, I used to like, but we had we had this um, f um, camp before. Just understanding how to edit is a plus, yeah. I also learned over the pandemic as well. I also learned how to edit um, audio as well but of course it's not as good as like very well done covers in in or like very well mixed or mastered um covers done by other artists so sometimes you know there's part of me that that is hesitating to offer those services as well because if i am not as satisfied with with my own output like how do i even give a rate for that you know i'm also considering maybe um you saw justin has a video about software that can help you edit video 
I Justin. Who who is I Justin? I'm also considering like I saw this post by um Kira Kira Kat. Kira Kira Kat is a, a a voice actor in in the Philippines, and she has this like um uh rates. And then I'm considering maybe maybe in the future I can do some voice acting um rates. Oh, tech YouTuber, I see. You learn how to watch multi VTubers stream after pandemic. <laughs> That's a skill. That's definitely a skill. A skill of like, how are you able to just watch everything at the same time and understand each streamer at the same time? I, I am so, so amazed whenever I see, uh, like, stream uh, like viewers like you guys who can watch multiple streams at the same time speaking of watching let's watch the videos that you sent Chagbrack. let me just open the links yep and then this one as well watch the first one first the first link first wait 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 let's let's see this one pink on the Media room. Have you noticed something weird about these Chinese words? No. <laughs> Is traditional editing dead? Oh, oh, this one. I see. Mm. -hmm. The second one you have not seen, but do you think you know what it is about? Okay, okay, that's fine. Let Let's just pause it. Okay. All right. Uh, let me go screen share again. Let's watch this. Word. Crazy, right? Oops, oops, oops. But this is not a fluke. And with more advanced vocabulary, ma am, ma am. the discrepancy becomes even larger. Okay, okay. Let me pause the music. And then let's watch about Chinese. Have you noticed something weird about these Chinese words? Mei Li, Yan Jing, Mao Zi. Mei Li means beautiful, but if you looked up the first character by itself, you'll see that it means beautiful. Yeah. And Li also means beautiful? Yan Jing means I, but Yan by itself also means I, and uh -huh. Jing is still I. <laughs> and why would we say Mao Zi to mean hat when Mao by itself already means hat and Zi literally serves no purpose other than to add another syllable? <laughs> In this three part series, let's find out why Chinese seems to hate one syllable words. You hate one syllable words? You're probably words? familiar with the idea of a compound word. It's uh -huh. a word that's created by combining two existing words, like airport bookshelf, or toothbrush. Mm -hmm. And compound words exist in almost every language, including Chinese. Words like mei li, yan jing, and mao zi are all technically compound words, but they are far different from the English idea of a compound word. Here's why. In English, the building blocks of a word are letters. The mm -hmm. letters a, n, g, e, l form the word angel. But oftentimes, there's another layer. The letters may first form word roots, which alongside prefixes and suffixes Morphemes. then combine to create words. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the word audience. Audi is the word root, which in Latin means to listen or hear. When combined with the suffix ence, which signifies action or state, the word audience of, like, grade is formed, English. which means something like those who are listening. Now, what if we try to create a Chinese equivalent of this Audi's word? Audi is a It might be something like <laughs> tingzhe. Ting would mean listen, and zhe means one who is. So this word would mean listener. Not so a here is word. the key point I want you to realize. Did you see what I did just now? I just compared a Chinese character to a word root and a suffix. Mm. And this is something a lot of people don't get about Chinese. What exactly is a Chinese word? Is a character a word? It could be. But it can also be a word root. It can be a prefix, a suffix, or a particle. Mm -hmm. In some cases, it can be all of them. The character D means ground and can be used as a prefix in Fa, you don't have a problem. As a suffix in Lu Di, or as a particle in Xiao Xin Da. This confusion is further amplified by the fact that many characters have Xiao numerous Xin different da. meanings, different pronunciations, and even different parts of speech. For example, Yue can mean month or the moon. 
This character can be pronounced zhe in chi zhe, zhao in zhao ji, or zhuo in yi zhuo. And our first example <gasps> you... can be used as an adjective you... <laughs> in mei li, a noun in mei shi, or as a verb in san mei. So the reason Chinese hates one oh, no, syllable you, you saw my is because face. one character by itself <laughs> can have too many different meanings and uses that often leads to ambiguity face in the intended alone. definition or function of that character. So adding a second character narrows it down to one specific meaning and gets rid of any ambiguity. Let's see how this works in real speech. If I say, 你看他的眼, you might guess that it means, look at his eyes. But it might also mean, look at his expression, 眼神, look at his eyelash, Yan Jian Mao, or look at his glasses, Yan Jing. So while the first sentence is fine in most cases, if you want to be clear you're referring to the physical eyes, then you might want to say, Ni Kanta de Yan Jing. And what about this sentence? It might mean that air quality here is not great, but maybe you're trying to say, as in the atmosphere here is not great. Not to mention, Qi as a noun can also refer to anger. Like in 我生他的气, I'm angry at him. So to make it clear you're talking about the physical air, you would say 这里的空气不太好. Finally, if you want to say you can see the moon from the window, you have to say 你从窗户能看到月亮, because 月 by itself actually refers to month 99% of the time. So as a general rule, if a word in Chinese has a two-character version and a one-character version that seem to mean the same thing, the two-character version will always sound more specific, ah, precise, and less vague. Ah, I just want to briefly talk about words that end in zi. What exactly zi. is the function of this character? To be zi. frank, I'm almost as confused as you are, but I'll try to explain the basics. In all these Why? words, it seems like there's no Nothing. possible meaning if we admit it, but they all sound so weird without it. There are two explanations. The first purpose is the zi serves to objectify the preceding character. Mm, shu is a verb, is a name? meaning to comb, but shu zi is the Actually, physical like, comb. If, if you Peng added, is an adjective, in... meaning fat, and pang zi means a fat person. Gai oh. means to cover, whereas gai zi means a lid gai or a zi. covering. The ah. second purpose is it avoids confusion with homophones, especially with very common words. Without the zi, he zi, box, would sound like he, with oh. zi, chopsticks would sound like kuai, zi. fast and shu zi, home might be confused zi. with shu book here's something shu. else interesting when zi words oh. are paired with a prefix zi. the zi usually becomes unnecessary for huh? example bao zi and jiao zi are the proper ways to say steam buns and dumplings Man, but once you have a modifier food? like zhou bao or shui jiao then it's fine shui without jiao. But at the end of the day, there are still a lot of Chinese characters that are perfectly comfortable by themselves. Perhaps it's because these characters don't have any homophones to confuse with, or don't have multiple definitions, but for a language that's evolved over thousands of years, it's really hard to say. Still, I hope this video was insightful and useful for your learning. That's all I have for today. We'll Bye bye! Okay, it's the next one. This is this, this, the next video. Let's watch. Womensha Zaijan? Okay, let's watch. I went through every word in HSK4 and categorized them by number of characters. Here's what I found there are 112 one character words, 466 two character words. 21 three-character words, and just one four-character <laughs> word. Crazy, right? But this is not a fluke, and with more advanced vocabulary, the discrepancy becomes even larger. In HSK 6, almost 90% of the entries are two-character words. So clearly something is going on here, but why the heck is Chinese obsessed with two-syllable words? Let's find out. It wasn't always this way. In ancient times, most of the original Come here words for Japan and get ideas <laughs> were only one character. Prior to 200 BC, approximately 20% of the written language were disyllabic, or having two syllables. But as the language expanded, I, so I'm curious about it, so, so I'm, I'm checking it out. Now, over 80% of Chinese is composed yeah. of disyllabic words. After all, modern Chinese uses 3,500 common characters and you're already complaining. Ah. Imagine if it was 7,000 or 15,000? Yeah, let's not.
This is in part the reason you'll run into different words for the same idea, like how zhi and tai. It's important to learn sun, um, Chinese yue characters in both mean moon, in Japanese. So in kanji, that's why. Mean I. How many in Japanese? You mean the required one? Wait, 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 wait. And as the I, world I, I industrialized that, like, in the last century, I was not listening carefully. In ja in Japanese, there's around like three thousand most common ones. Total? Of course, the total is like more than three thousand. But then, the most common ones that is like expected to be used is is wait, what the fifteen thousand characters total? This is the total. Wait, you you need to learn fifteen thousand characters? Seriously, if you learn Chinese, uh huh. You will need to know show knowledge of two thousand. Wait, wait, wait. Why, why do oh, I? Modern Chinese. Okay, two thousand five hundred characters. You can read nineteen. Oh, it's almost the same, right? With Japanese as well, kind of like that as well. No, don't worry. You can survive. We can survive. This is Chinese. We're not studying Chinese. I am not teaching Chinese. I am teaching Japanese. Mori, oh Kylie, welcome home. How are you doing? Hi. We're just watching uh, uh some clips on on about Chinese, but we are not. I'm not teaching Chinese. You can even use English well. Should we also? Arabian is tougher. Oh fudge. <laughs> Should um if you take my class, we we can also like study English as well. We're learning Mandarin now. Um, I'm just. Um, watching this link that Habibi, uh, the Shagbrak shared about um, why Chinese are obsessed with two, uh, with two Chinese characters on their words. Yeah, so so so. Jesus, <laughs> <Blame 000, 500 laughs> common characters. And you're Ouch! Imagine if Ow. there seven thousand or why fifteen thousand. Yeah, let's why not. Me? This is in part the reason you'll run into different words for the same idea, like how zhi and taiyang both mean sun, yue and yueliang both mean moon, and mu and yanjing both mean eye. A lot of two-syllable words are in fact modern creations, and as the world industrialized in the last century, you'll notice that most of the Chinese words for modern inventions are two-syllable words. It just makes more Super sense idol. to create new words Super that combine idol. existing characters <laughs> as opposed to creating completely Klingon? new characters. What is Klingon? And these words usually make a lot of Klingon? sense when you realize what they mean. Qichu, car, means gas vehicle. Shouji, cell phone, means hand machine. Hand machine. And Xidrong, suit, Literally means West attire. West attire. But two syllable compound words are not it's just from a Star construct for modern inventions. From a strip based at all. Kylie, welcome home. How are you doing? Accounting for the majority of common vocabulary the, and the word in world with less characters. Today was so annoying, let's learn right? about the various ways <laughs> compound words are constructed in Chinese. A wild there are basically beers. three major yeah. types of compound words. The first type are reduplicated words. Reduplicated? Like, xie xie, thanks. Ah, xie. Man man. Slowly man, man. or tian tian all the time. Tian, tian. The second type are tian, derivative tian. words, xie, xie. and in Chinese, most tian, of tian. these words involve a root word and a suffix, like Klingon is a language from Star Trek. Hat, it's really shuko, a language. Rock, like they made or a, a specific leader. language for Star Trek. The last and most important type wow. are double root words, like qi chu, car. This is how you prep for daily world. <laughs> or mei li, beautiful. <laughs> I will also note that not all two-syllable words no. are compound words. There's a category of words called liamianci or binding words. I always These are have words like that contain uh, only one two, morpheme or two idea, main despite beginning having words two characters, and, and word, but are meaningless or lose its meaning if the characters are separated. A good example you might know is laji, garbage. Both of these characters by themselves are actually meaningless <gasps> and only mean garbage when combined. An easy way to identify really? these words is if you try to look up the individual characters in a dictionary and the dictionary says, see the complete form of the word, then it usually means it's a binding word. But in this video, I only want to focus on compound words because those are far more useful for your learning. Oh. So let's discuss them in detail. Oh. <gasps> is, it, is it done? Oh, 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 no. It's, it's. 
The first type, <laughs> reduplicated words, words oh, are theoretically the simplest. Klingons have booked how to repeated, learn the language, but they're not easy <gasps> to explain. One of the common functions of repeating a character, though, is to make a word into an adverb. For example, ah. man means slow, but man man means slowly. Man, man. Wang means previous or past, wang. so wang wang means tends to, wang, implying wang. that if something has already happened a certain way, then it will wang, likely wang happen that way again. Wang wang means different in Filipino. Finally, wang wang is like the sound for, for and and the... Tian tian I saw a video where they spoke Klingon. <gasps> really? As a note, some reduplication of adjectives like liang versus Where is it based on? Doesn't exactly Klingon. make a new word, Klingon? but does give it a slightly different nuance. I don't know how nuance. to pronounce it. Honestly, the whole idea of reduplication is quite an interesting topic, but can be difficult yeah, to decipher. Good. So I'll save the details for another day. Derivative words, or pai sheng ci, are the easiest to explain because they're sound relatively of a dog? familiar to English what? speakers. It's it based on sound of a dog lingo? It involves affix, which provides more information about the root word. In the last video, we talked about oh, how zi objectifies the preceding character. So in mao zi, it would oh. indicate that the mao is an object. Oh, wang, we also wang. talked ah, about zhe, wang, wang. and how no, this no, no, character no. indicates meant... one who is. So Buja uh, would mean uh, reader, for example. Not, not this is dog no sound. different than it's how more the like ER suffix sound in English of, uh, indicates one who is of, uh, doing police something. Car. There are also oh, derivative yeah. words involving prefixes as well. Like Lao is a common prefix of endearment. For example, you can call your dad Lao Ba, the elder in a group Lao, Lao Da, Dan. and of course, a word you probably all know, Lao Shi. Teacher. Oh, the right. third type, which I will call double root words, are the most complex. The idea is that both of the characters are root words and neither can be classified as a prefix or suffix. Oh, by the way, remember the last video when I said that D acted as a prefix and suffix in D Fang and Lu Di? Okay, I kind of lied because at that time oh, no. I wanted to use Why concepts you you're lie? familiar with to help prove a point. What? But now that you have a deeper understanding, it's time to tell you the truth that both of Never these words this fall into way. this because sometimes, category of counting. Especially words. if it's a different However, that doesn't mean that you would won't be a learn dominant it character and a secondary because character. Because you're in fact that's you're using a, another language to learn it, you Either know, rather than dominant, learning the this, dominant, this language to learn the language more. To me. You know. I'll give you examples of all three. Examples of the first character. For example, dominant. like. Nianqing means young. In school, you would use English to learn English, you know. And Qing, light, modifies it. So if your years are light, ah. then you are young. Lo ah. Shang means upstairs, where Lo, Lo building, is the Lo. dominant character, and Shang, up, modifies it. What is down? So the upper part of a building. Examples of the Lo second Shang. character being dominant. Dianao means computer, where Dian means Dian. electric and is modifying the following Lo character. Shang? No, brain. So computer then means electronic brain. <laughs> One word for happy in Chinese is kai You can xin, even speak your language well? Means open and is describing electric the second brain. character, xin, which is heart. So this word open literally heart? means open heart. Kai the last xin. category is where both characters are equally yeah. important. And this one is quite complex in of itself and can be further divided into subcategories. If I'm Our happy, examples I have in the an last video, heart? Mei Li and Yan Jing, fall into this category and are examples where the meaning of both characters are quite similar. But they can be opposites You're as well. You really hated the like word very much? Xiao, literally really? meaning big and small, is a word for size. Fan Zheng is an interesting word. It literally means flip side and right side, <laughs> but what it actually means is anyways or <laughs> either way. Of course, they can also be somewhat open heart in the middle. <laughs> For example, no. pu bian is a word where the characters build on each other. Pu, pu means bian. common, and bian means pu everywhere. Bian. So pu combined, bian. this word means widespread. Here's a tip. Get in the habit of breaking down new words you learn and try to understand how each character contributes it's, to the It's also the same in, in, in Japanese. This will help you understand the subtle differences if you try to break down words. the word or like For example, break down the radicals, do you radicals? know the difference between bang su and bang mang? Now that you have an idea of how compounds words function in Chinese, you might be wondering, why aren't there more three or four syllable compound words? Yeah. The short <laughs> answer is, <laughs> oh, no, no wrong key. Oh, no. two characters is all that's exactly. necessary to create most adjectives and verbs, and nouns are the only types of words that could use more syllables due to modernization. In fact, you'll notice that most three and four Happy syllable surgery. words in Chinese <laughs> are modern concepts, like card, credit card, 互联网, Internet or 公共汽车, 
public bus. There are also a lot of three syllable words that involve infixes, which is、Don't、like、worry. a prefix or a suffix, but、I'm、in the middle of the word. In my own For example, Beibuqi, sorry,、language. falls into this category. I don't know. By the way,、Debuxi. these words are, in fact, a type of derivative word. <gasps> I didn't discuss them、Debuxi. earlier because this video is focused on two syllable compound words. To be honest, though, it's not all that important for you to understand、Heart、how、ends. this all works. Instead, use this knowledge to help you learn better. In my opinion, the biggest takeaway from this video should be that a Chinese character is a unit of idea that can be manipulated and combined with other characters、don't、to create、learn. new ideas. So don't treat a character like a word with a static meaning, because it isn't. It's fluid and can change depending on the context. Here's an analogy. Forming words in Chinese is like cooking, the and the characters、rate? are the ingredients. Sugar is sweet and will always be sweet, but if you combine it with heat, it will caramelize, resulting in a new, unique flavor that is still undeniably sweet. The character I will always have the property of love, but depending on what you combine、ah. it with, a new flavor can be formed. Ke ai means cute, whereas ai xin means compassion. So put this into practice, and I think you'll start to have a deeper understanding of Chinese words and be able to learn them faster. The either is simplified. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Yay! Do we need the third video? No. Nah. Anyhow, yeah. Going back. <laughs> Going back. Anything else you want to share? Oh my gosh! It's eleven fifty. What the what the heck? I didn't realize the time. Seriously, I didn't know. It's almost midnight. What? What? No. Let's let's not say goodbye first. Let's, let's you gotta watch your eye. Okay, fine. Goodbye. No. Can only say 你好，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢。Man, China. It, what I'm, what I'm, the, the tough part for Wu Bu Hao,、uh, the tough part for me is the, the saying the, it's the pronunciation, it's the pronunciation that fudges me up. Not the,、uh, well, also the kanji, of course. I am just scared with the, like the tones, actually. It scares me. What? <laughs> it's like nothing similar, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good that you know greetings from many countries, Frankie. That is good. That is very, very good to remember and to learn. Okay. So don't, don't just, don't belittle yourself for knowing greetings from many countries. Like I don't know the greeting and fly. Oh yeah, yeah, Sawadika. I know, I know, Sawadika. <laughs> But I wouldn't know like the other words, and or like the how, like how to read Thai. I don't know that. How to read Arab Arabic letters. I don't know that. Okay, so it's 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 kind of sad that I only know like. English alphabet, but it's also helpful because if not for English, I wouldn't be able to talk to you guys. You know, if I didn't know English, I wouldn't be able to communicate. I wouldn't be able to get to know you guys. So, we we think we think. Um, I'm thankful that English is the universal language, and that a lot of people are trying to learn English more. So yeah. Right. I mean, imagine if I stream in Taglish instead, or like in in Filipino. Hindi yung may intindihan ko na siya sabi ko, kasi sure, muta tagalog lang ako, de ba? Parang ganon. <laughs> so what I said was, oh, you wouldn't be able to understand what I said because I'm only gonna be speaking in Filipino. So it's just like this. And and you wouldn't understand anything, and then you're gonna be saying goodbye because I just said, because I just said something in Filipino. Xinjiao, <laughs> salamat datong. Hola, bonjour. Konnichiwa. Um, in konnichiwa, it's well, you have double n, and then it's gonna be ha not wa, but that's good. Hi, namaste. Hi. 
it, 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 learning languages is very interesting, right? You get to、um, connect to more people. I think, like,、um, where was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. If you are rich and you don't have to, like, think about what to.、Uh, if you have all the time and money in the world,、um, I would love to, like, Go to different countries and places and learn their languages, like just like how some YouTubers do it as well. But then,、um, for me, I think I'm more interested in an Asian language probably because I watch more Asian media, especially Japanese, Japanese and Korean. But then <laughs> there's also a part of me that gives up with. I, I, I'm good with my Korean. I, I'm already good because I mean, I'm already fine with my current level of Korean. Because, really, seriously, the pronunciation, ma'am. And, and, and trying to read it fast as well. I mean, I can write in Hangul. But then, I was be confused. Also, the tough part with learning multiple languages and trying to be a polyglot is. Um, trying your best not to mix everything up, you know. <laughs> yeah. Man, why, why am I. Because my glasses don't have like a proper frame, it's just floating like that. <laughs> it's, it's cute to look at, but then it moves with my bangs rather than with my eyes. I think it's more attached to my hair rather than to my face. I think it's, that's why it's, it moves a lot like that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anything else to do? Okay. I think we can end the stream here. Again, if you have any questions, do, do message. I mean, if you want to check out my. Lessons, please do check out、um, my post on Twitter. This one,、uh, Teach Me again, or the pinned post there, and DM me on Good Talk. Thank you.、Um, feel free to DM me on Twitter and on Discord to inquire about more details.、Uh, we can talk more, and you get, you get to hang out with me as well, and I get to hang out with you. More so, I would appreciate that. And yeah, let's look for someone to raid. Do we have who we can raid? Let me let me check. Let me see who's live right now. Who who can can we? Who is that dream daddy? Reading fun. Is that just reading? You can stream like just like reading fun. Is, is, is it like you're just reading stories or something? Maybe you can do something like that in the future. Reading stories. And then it can help you go to sleep or something. Right? Right? <laughs> To something that's just chatting, or we can we can still chat or something. Nah, nah, maybe we can go have a good rest, everyone. Um, again, happy Easter. Um, I hope you had a good rest this weekend. I wish you, I wish that you will have a good, um, good, 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 uh, week ahead. Um, it's gonna be the second week of April. Oh my gosh, I, I. You know, like, it's amazing how fast the time just passes by. And also, it's kind of worrying as well. But I think we can handle this. <laughs>、um, I'm not sure if I can stream anytime soon. Leah. Okay, we're gonna be raiding Leah.、Um, she's doing just chatting this Easter. Yeah. And. And yeah, I mean, this Easter Sunday.、Uh, I hope I can stream 
uh, again sometime this week but i'm mostly gonna be focusing on finishing the um video editing projects that i'm ha i'm doing right now so uh, wish me luck on that and maybe if i get tired while doing the projects i would mess okay welcome thank you so much for for being here so all the lurkers uh, thank you thank you for being here i love you all uh, chat i love you all platonically thank you um good night everyone oh yes Mina, Saya. please rest well um good morning if you're it's morning there um please make sure to eat well um don't forget our raid message yeah, raid there <laughs> all right copy our raid message um let's give a warm a warm raid to our to Ria. okay and i wish i wish you a blessed and good 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 week ahead and make sure you eat i hope i can we can hang out again real soon i'm hoping to play other uh more games in the future but <sighs> that is it so I, I have to say bye bye you okay bye bye you bye 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 <laughs> bye bye rest well bye bye <laughs>